Hello and welcome to today's Tuesday training of Groove Funnels. We're going to be talking about Groove Pages. We're going to be talking about Groove Cell, and we have a special guest who's going to be on here today to share some amazing insights. But first, let me just welcome you all here to make sure you can hear me. We're going to start at the top of the hour, so we got three minutes. So if you can hear me, go ahead and type one in the chat along with where you're from. One, and I'm in Boca Raton, Florida. One, Boca Raton, Florida. One, and where you are. Here we go. Hello from Michigan, Stephen, Jody, Craig, Jody from Cincinnati, Terry from Seattle, Thomas from Illinois, Mark from Gre Greeley, Pennsylvania, Craig from Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, Gary from Canada, Dean from Orlando, Jeremy from St. Louis, uh, David from Tennessee, David from Croatia, David from Indianapolis. We got a lot of Davids in here. <laughs> B. Bison from Alberta, Canada. Deland, Florida is Sherry, Tammy from Orlando, Eamon from Egypt. All right. We have international uh, people here, ladies and gentlemen. This is exciting. David from Salt Lake City, Gareth from London, UK, Don from Cincinnati, Dan from San Francisco, Andrea from Long Island, Daniela from Canada, Karen from Nashville, Tennessee, Will from Scotland, Will, Bonnie, Scotland. Okay, perfect. Ta Tanya from Auckland, New Zealand. Rick from Spokane, Trevor from Adelaide, Australia, Robert from Hermiston, Oregon, Mike from Philadelphia, Khaled from Algeria, Yoshi from Long Island, Colin from Auckland, New Zealand, Frank from East Tennessee, Chandra from Washington, D.C., Mira, Mira Loma, California is where Carl's from, Sarah, Tasmania, Australia, Richard, Mesa, Arizona, Rich, Chicago, Illinois, Eldo Novak from Brazil. Who's All from right. Long Island? Who's from Long Island there? Brazil Who is that? in the house. Long Island. Let me see. Andrea or Andrea C. Yeah, Yoshi in Long Island. Yoshi and, and a oh. few others as well. Danio, uh, Brad from yeah, Wal and Andrea C. There you go. Dwight from England. Phil from Toowoomba, Queensland. Whoa, I got to make it. Australia. Barbara. Yeah, you got to hurry, Tom. Florida. You got like. Got like 30 seconds before we hit the top of the hour. All right. Get them in. <laughs> from Texas, bitch. Uh, oops, New Zealand, Tanya said. Rome uh, is where Danio is from. So Rome uh, is in the house. William from Vegas. Jeffrey from Colorado. Jade from Brisbane, Australia. Uh, Donna from Akron, Ohio. Pascal from London, UK. Jeff from Conway, Arkansas. Christine from Colorado Springs, Colorado. Susan from Sorry. South Africa. Francis from Ottawa, Canada. Dan from Minneapolis. Uh, Calgary, Canada. Allison is in the house. And we are at the top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen. Perfect timing. There we go. Yeah. And, and Len from Auckland, New Zealand. Wow. That is fantastic. So we have two amazing people with me. My name is Tom Beal. I am here on Tuesdays with you, 6 p.m. Eastern time, as you heard. All sorts of time zones on with us from around the world. But today, we not only have the amazing Donna Fox with us. Donna, tell everybody, say hi Say hi from hey Donna. Hey, everyone. It's nice to be here. As always, I'll mostly be handling questions and comments in the chat. So uh, Thankfully. I'm going to say I'll mute the rest of the time, but great to be here. Because I'm happy because Donna knows way more answers to those questions than I do at this point. <laughs> Thankful to have Donna here. She's a wealth of information. And speaking of wealth information, we have the one and only co-founder of the Groove Apps Suite, all the different products that the Groovy products. One and only Groove Mike Funnels now. Phil, Groove Funnels. Groove Funnels now. Great. <laughs> Groove Funnels. Mike Phil Same is in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Give a seven in the chat. Put a seven in the chat for Mike Phil Same if you can get excited. Mike's got some awesome stuff to all share right. with you all. Look at that. Everybody jumping in. So, Mike, I will pass it over to you, and I'm excited to hear all the great news coming their way uh, and my way as well. Thank you, Tom. Much appreciated. I'm going to turn it over to you. I'm going to go on for about 10 to 15 minutes. Lots of updates to go over for everybody. We have 176 people one minute in. That means we're probably going to be at 225 within the next three minutes. This is uh, by far <clears throat> the uh, largest group we've had uh, to date, and there's a reason for that. So, Tom, what I'm going to ask you to do, if you can, for me, is can you go into the presenter, change presenter over to me? Um, <clears throat> it's not allowing me the little drop down thingy when it says show my screen. Yes. So if you can just change presenter to me, I'll get a little a pop up and I'll show you. I got it. Right. I think I was Chris. Yeah. Did it, I did it too already. <laughs> oh, who's that? John Cornetta? There you go. Yeah. John's in the house too. And that came back. Another co founder. All right. <clears throat> 
All right, so you guys are seeing my screen. What I did is I just uh, I just uh, blocked off some email addresses I realized that were right there. So uh, folks, when I logged into this system, uh, just a couple of minutes ago, I said to Donna and Tom, hey, how many people do you think we had? And Donna says, oh, I don't know, it's a good question. And Tom said, I have no idea. And Donna said, 7,400? <clears throat> About uh, 10 minutes ago, that number was right here, 7,994. I'm just gonna hit this little refresh button right here. We're gonna see Donnie Hoover. Now this, maybe we had nobody sign up in the last uh, 10 minutes. Let's see. <clears throat> and, that, okay, so that's right here. So what we're gonna try to do is hope that by the end of this call, this number goes here to 8,000. The reason why I'm showing you this is this is not how many users are in the system. This is how many free users are in the system. How many people signed up since last Tuesday? <clears throat> So I just want to give a quick shout out and then I'm going to get back on topic. But I was given a great, this, I'm just going on a total left turn here. This right here is something that my friend, I was just on a call before, my friend Brad Costanza showed me this thing. <clears throat> it's called Crisp. It's free. You should all get it. Basically, here's how it works. It will immediately recognize your voice. And once it knows your voice, he was demonstrating this. You, you, I'm not going to say put a one in the chat because I, I, I'll, I'll know you do. But it, he was going like this. I haven't downloaded yet. He was going like that. You hear that? I said, yeah, you're snapping your fingers. He goes, now watch. <clears throat> I'm going to change my microphone to crisp, which is basically the same microphone. It just has the crisp filter. And he started snapping his fingers. And I couldn't hear it. He started pounding on his desk. And I couldn't hear it. He clapped his hands. And I couldn't hear it. He said, if you've got a baby crying, or you've got a dog barking in the background, or a, uh, you've, you live near um, a police department, or the fire truck keeps going by, it just, it learns your voice, and that's the only thing that will come through, and it gets rid of everything. So in the times right now where we're all doing these Zoom calls, I thought this would be brilliant, <clears throat> but here's the other thing. He can hit activate to me. So when he's listening to me, he says, okay, Mike Vilsame is speaking, and while I'm speaking, he hits the button, it learns my voice, and then if I have a background that's bothering him, like a little baby crying or somebody cooking with the pots and pans in the back, completely gets rid of all of it. <clears throat> Why am I showing you this? Because it's a cool new tool that I just came about and I thought, and I left my browser open, I said, I'm gonna share this with everybody. Uh, let's have a little fun. If you find that to be cool, put a one in the chat for me if you like like a little tip like that. Uh, <clears throat> so, great. So. Um, so somebody says it's $39 a month, not that I'm aware of, I'm sure they have, you know, just like Loom for video is free in this paid, but it says it's free here and I'm sure they've got upgrade paths. That's a business model, right? The next thing I wanna show you is right here. <clears throat> the CEO of Zoom just gave a fascinating interview about what happened to Zoom last month. Every smart business leader needs to, uh, should pay attention. So what I'm gonna do is, just give me a second here, I'm gonna find the chat. Okay, and I'm going to paste this link to send to all. You should be seeing that link in the chat, I believe. <clears throat> all right, uh, Donna, do, are they seeing that link? Did that show up in the chat? Donna's on mute, probably on mute. I don't see any two, yes, yeah. They've got it. Okay, yep. great. Yeah, if there's a sticky and like there's a better way to do that, if you could please you know, uh, do that, I'd appreciate that. <clears throat> yep. All right, so I'm not going to go into the full nuts and bolts about this article other than this thing right here. So last month, in the month of October, he goes on to basically talk about they are having meetings in their company <clears throat> about how they've got this incredible company going from 10 million users and how can they get to 15 million users in the next year they are talking about basically how do they grow 33 percent in one year what are certain things they can do in their business can you imagine that is your company and you have this BHAG, this big hairy audacious goal that you're going to go from 10 million users to 15 million users in the next 12 months <clears throat> Now, how big is 10 million users? Come on, that's huge. We know, you know, the, the, the leading uh, people in our space, uh, ClickFunnels, they have 100,000 users. We, you know, we look at like how incredible that is. What is 100,000 compared to 10 million? So Zoom is really kicking butt, right? You know, they got 10 million users. <clears throat> what happens when you go from 10 million users to 200 million users? <clears throat> Essentially, overnight. Essentially, overnight. It's a fascinating article. 
they learned a lot. You know, this is what we call first world problems. Be careful what you wish for because you just might get it. <clears throat> he goes on into here, you know, how he questions, you know, even at night he can't sleep. He's having sleepless nights. Is this what he ever signed up for? Right. Sometimes you can have so much success <clears throat> that it can be overwhelming. Now, certainly uh, that didn't happen necessarily to us, but I do want to segue this into saying over here, when we look right here at the number of people, <clears throat> let's hit the refresh, see if anybody signed up <clears throat> while we're on this call here. All right. Hey, we got one more new person, Abdullah. If, uh, if they're on this call, we'll say welcome to them. <clears throat> so we went from doing, I don't know, on a good day, 10 customers in a day, on a bad day, three, on an average day, five to seven new <clears throat> people, whether they're paid or not, right? Um, whether you're paid or not, these are people that are coming into our system and using GrooveSell and using GroovePages. Now that GrooveSell is free and GroovePages is a light version, um, <clears throat> uh, we're not going to talk too much about the difference in that. There's a there's a red button inside your app here. Uh, you know, <clears throat> I, I believe when you click right here uh, that says upgrade, you can learn more about that. We'll talk about that in just a minute. Uh, having said that. Um, <clears throat> There's a major dynamic that goes on in our, our company <clears throat> when we go from getting seven people a day to 1,100 people in a day. <clears throat> when we are doing our lifetime backer option for everybody, we were having a small group of people. Right now, there's 250 people already on this call. We went from doing 48 people to 250 people. <clears throat> that show up on this webinar in just one week. And shout out and thank you to all, all the new people. Welcome to, to the family. And obviously, you know, uh, our backers are making all of this, this possible. So what does that mean for us? Well, we, there was a point where we could be forgiven a little bit because, you know, seven people are coming in. We could get on each week and make an announcement and say, <clears throat> yeah, look, folks, you, you understand you, you bought this Software, you know that we're launching, you know, July, July 1st, July 15th, whatever that's going to be. We're going to do a launch. So, yes, that feature is coming. Don't worry. You know that feature is coming. And everybody knew these features are coming because, you know, we got three months to go. And we show you the Trello boards and you know what's happening. And we talk about our feedback site where you give us different things. And we could tell you, yes, of course, we're going to have this. And we're going to have share funnels. And we're going to have all these different things. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. We've got a little bit of a coming soon link here and there. And you folks understand that and you're excited about that uh, and we have the ability to to, uh, to to let you know that at a very normal pace. Whew, what has happened in the last week between private messages <clears throat> in Facebook, messages in Facebook to myself, to John Garcia, to Tom, to Donna, to John Cornetta, um, <clears throat> uh, is, and by the way, is John on? I forget, I, did I hear his voice? <clears throat> Yes, he's here, he but he's still here. Mike oh. isn't showing. <clears throat> okay, great. So, uh, John, uh, my 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 uh, business partner, John, is on. We have two other partners in the company. So suddenly, you know, we have people saying, you know, my friends, hey, are you going to have this feature? Let me give you a feature. Can I get on a call with you? Yeah, I'm getting. And the answer has been, uh, yeah, yeah, no, we we got that. That's coming. That's coming. <clears throat> so, first announcement, I want to let everybody know. Um, we were not launching this software until. July 15th. And what we had is a lot of people that are beta testers and, and going in and we communicate with them on what is coming. But boy, that message is a little bit hard to get through when we have a thousand new people <clears throat> coming in a day. We can't ex assume everybody's making it onto the webinar. Everybody's listening to the replay. Everybody has read every little thing that we put in <clears throat> to the FAQ doc. So we were able to get away with certain things when we had, you know, 200, 300 new customers coming in per month, right? Now we're getting three months worth of customers coming into our app a day. Three months worth of customers coming into our app a day. <clears throat> so we can no longer be forgiven for not having tutorial videos. You know, the, the other customers knew that, hey, this is coming in July, let us finish the app. Let us get the app complete, and then we're gonna get tutorial videos. So in that same thing that with the, with the, with the uh, Zoom founder, yes, he went from 10 million people to uh, 10 million people to 200 million people 
believe it or not, our growth is bigger than theirs in terms of how many people we were getting to how many we're getting <clears throat> in a day. So having said that, we have decided uh, for a number of different reasons that we are going to double down on development. So let me let me lower my microphone. I'm standing. I've been standing this whole time, so I had a little bit more energy uh, to talk with you. So let's talk here. So first of all, <clears throat> um, we're going to have a really cool uh, little thing that's coming out here. I've got a little screenshot for you uh, right here that's coming. That's going to be uh, coming available uh, by Friday, and this is where I set up my my links, my swipes, banner ads, thank you page ads, signatures that you could use in your emails and forums. You'll go into social media, you'll be able to click to LinkedIn, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. We're gonna have pre-written blog reviews. <clears throat> We're gonna have video reviews that are done for you where you won't be able to use them in YouTube because you get hit with duplicate content. The only thing that has to be is it just has to be a different intro. So all you've got to do is get in front of your iPhone or your webcam and say, hi, my name is so-and-so. I recommend this product. Here's why and blah, 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 and this, and I really recommend for these 10 different reasons. And by the way, here's a quick demo video. And then you could <clears throat> just put that into your video editing software, load it to YouTube. We're going to have things if you want to do Facebook ads, if you have a site where people log out or put a little ad, <clears throat> tell a friend, different resources where you can get traffic, all that stuff. So this is not only something we're giving you, this is a new feature that's going to be in GrooveSell. You're going to be able to go in, go in and create a promo area asset <clears throat> for any promotion, and not just once. If you have a webinar, you can create a new uh, set of these for your webinar. If you have a product launch, a Black Friday sale, all of these are different, different creatives and different emails, right? So <clears throat> if I have swipe copy, if one's for my 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 book, one is for a webinar and one is directly to the sales page, I need one to say like, this is a webinar series of, of tools. So <clears throat> this is stuff that, that is not available, you know, uh, you know, anywhere. So as, we, as we're uh, continuing to develop this software, let's get back to here. <clears throat> as you see, when you click on these things here, right now you have Groove Pages Lite. Um, if you're a free member, if you're a pro member, then you have everything. If you have any questions about if you were a backer, uh, or you're free, you just click this upgrade button. The backer gets everything here. You don't have to pay. As you know, you've already paid. We, we promise you everything. So everything that you see on this page, uh, you know, down here in this section, all this you get. You know, uh, and if you want to upgrade, you can you can upgrade. <clears throat> and that that page does a really, really good job. The, the other thing I want to mention there is when you when you see those tools go live. Right now, you can just click get your links and stats, and that's going to open up to uh, giving you links right here like this. Um, and you can help us get the, the word out. <clears throat> it's, it's very important that I mention to you that when you uh, help us get the word out, the we're, once they sign up, th we're no longer using cookies. We use a parent-child relationship with anybody that you recommend. Once they get a free account, if they upgrade today, in a week, in a month, in a year, or three years, you get credit. <clears throat> If they sign up on their phone and then a month later, they're talking to a friend while they're at their parents' house and they say, no, you really should upgrade. They say, okay, cool. Mom, can I borrow your computer for a minute? And they sign onto their mother's computer, log into their account and upgrade. You will get paid. You don't have to worry about cookies or tracking. Any person <clears throat> that you get to sign up for free for GrooveSell will be tagged to you forever, no matter how they upgrade on any device. We don't use cookies. We are hard coding that referral to you in what we call the parent-child affiliate relationship. So once they sign up, you quote unquote, own that referral for life. If they ever upgrade, <clears throat> that's yours. Just there is a caveat, just, you know, just want to let you know that, you know, we have, um, uh, you'll see here in the partner program uh, that that is uh, at 20% uh, commission and it's 40% commission for paid customers. So um, let's talk about the different the different products. So Groove Pages um, <clears throat> is almost nearly functional now. I'm going to talk about some stuff that's coming soon, which is really really important. <clears throat> okay, um, Groove Sell Groove Affiliate. We're, uh, that's about 90% done, but fully functional. But some of the cool stuff that's still not there, like this promotion tools. Again, we were supposed to be launching in July. You can expect Groove Pages and Groove Sell and Groove Affiliate to be pretty much done out of beta. All the stuff that we, you know, we pretty much 
want within the app will be done around July 15 when we launch to the public. And those prices are going to be, as you see here, we're going to have um, the <clears throat> silver plan at 99. The gold plan will be 199 a month. And then down here, this platinum program uh, will be uh, 299 per month. Those are the, the prices. Right now, you, you, there's lifetime options for that. <clears throat> okay. So here we have GrooveMail. Uh, now, this says coming late June. That is still on track. Uh, as well, we have uh, Groove Member, which is a member platform, which says coming on, uh, you know, uh, this summer. That's still on track. And Groove Video. Now, <clears throat> these future things. I haven't even updated these pages yet. I want you to take a look at this. It says Groove Blog. Okay, <clears throat> this says coming early 2021. Groove Webinars here coming late 2020. Groove Desk coming. 2021 Groove Calendar coming 2021 Groove Survey <coughs> coming 2021. Well, that's no longer the case. If you haven't seen the Facebook uh, post that I made <coughs> yesterday, uh, the Facebook post uh, says here, <coughs> if we can find it, We've got an active group. <coughs> it says. Big update coming announced tomorrow. That's Tuesday, 6 p.m. That's the call that you're on. In a nutshell, we are hiring six more developers to move up the timeline. One new developer will be added to Groove Pages. One developer for API and additional for API and integrations. One additional developer to get on Groove Cell. An additional developer to take off when we we were 30% of the way done <coughs> with Groove webinars. 30% of the way done, but we moved them onto Groove Mail. We did a survey. Everybody said they wanted the mail product before the webinars. And then this became end of the year. But now we have a developer on that that's finishing that production. We're also hiring a developer to start on Groove Blog and Groove Desk and another one to start on Groove Survey. <clears throat> so what that means is all of these products that you see here are will be done on time by July, and as I said, you know, Groove Cell already is free and it works and it's awesome, but just some of the extra little cool features. Um, and then the future products that basically we said December 31st and you know April of next year, a year away, no longer, ladies and gentlemen, we are planning to round out this entire suite of products, all of this stuff <clears throat> that we said would be um, you know, uh, start by January, between January and April of next year. Um, I will, I will tell you right now that the goal is April 31st, but don't quote me on that. I know the way software works. You can pretty much figure by sometime in August or let's say September 1st, all of these things are going to be done, all of them. So you can assume by December, uh, by September 1st, the entire <coughs> suite is done. Even this little thing over here, Groove Pages for Shopify, will allow you to use Groove Pages to design your Shopify stores. So, what does that mean? Well, that means that uh, you know we're going to be launching in July. Obviously, we're turning ourselves into a full-blown SaaS company, 99 a month, 299 a month, uh, 199, 299 a month. It'll be higher for people that have more leads on their their email list and you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, but right now. Um, we just wanted to announce that because of this this upgrade, and let's see if we're getting closer to uh, <clears throat> to that number here. Um, let's see how many how many free like transactions. Like I'm watching the Jerry Lewis telethon. <clears throat> why, why is that, Donna? What hell? Pause. Oh, and say, wait, wait, wait. Go to the board. Let's see what the number is now. <laughs> let's, see, let's see. So we started last Tuesday to today. Uh, that number is 8,000. Look at that. <laughs> and here we are. We started out here with Donnie. Uh, so if they're on the call, Abdullah, Joe, uh, Anelli, Cecile, Crystal, Sherry, uh, um, and Jan Barash. So, so folks, we have gotten more people uh, while we were doing that little demo than we would in an entire day, just in the last five minutes. <clears throat> so that is why. Um, because of that, we're getting more exposure to the app. More people are asking, what are these features coming? And we basically said, okay, look, here's the deal. We're going to invest even more into this platform. 
we're hiring five more developers to get this stuff done because of you, because of the backers, and I'm not gonna shy around here, this free promotion for us has basically tripled uh, the amount of money that's coming into the, the investment pool for this project. And we're putting it right back into the development. As I said in that, in that post here, the way I, I ended it, I said, we're different than other SaaS companies, folks. We're passionate about products, our product and our customers. The profit is a logical byproduct. My partners are, uh, you know, <clears throat> are on this call. We all know that, you know, we're living on a salary. You know, we're we going to get a taste. We're we going to get a taste. And our method is no. Jeff Bezos has been a lot to learn from that man. And Jeff Bezos told his shareholders in an investment, I need you to commit to the long term. We cannot take the, 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 the money out of this. I live very nice. I live in a nice uh, six bedroom house. I don't drive a fancy car. I have a Honda Accord. Believe it or not, I only have one. Why don't I have a second car? Because I don't need one. Michelle and I both work from home. Uh, I have my pool. I travel when, you know, when we could. I used to travel when I need. But other than that, this is not the time for us to, you know, to, to say, hey, we, know, we, had, we made a $300,000 a month. Let's each take 100 grand. <clears throat> That's not what we're doing. We are putting this stuff into getting the world's best people from top tal and these different these different things. So, so that's what I wanted to say. I'm going to be creating a welcome video that explains a little bit of that when people log into the site. Because again, a thousand new people coming into a day is <clears throat> is um, really puts us into another an, another stratosphere. Uh, of what people expect from us. And the uh, the only way to do that is to stop telling people it's coming soon. It's just to get it there better, all right? So I hope that information makes you happier. Let me let you know about one more thing. I don't know if he's on the call right now. Donna, is Sai on the, the call uh, with us today on either an attendee or anything like that? He is not okay. with us right now. It's the middle cool. of the night for him. <laughs> Got it, that's right. He's over yeah. in Malaysia. So. So I'm gonna stand up again. Here goes the energy change. So Sai uh, is a very, very good friend of ours. Um, <clears throat> you know, Tom Beal, myself, and Donna met this young man in San Antonio. When I met Donna and when I met Tom Beal, uh, we met this kid at the same, very same time. He used to work for Google, um, and <clears throat> he's gonna be working with us to do a couple of things that are pretty exciting. Ready? Number one, he's gonna start building out video tutorials for for everything. We're just gonna, and if they gotta be redone in a month, we're gonna do that. So yes, all the video tutorials are coming. We're gonna put that in the app Searchy, which basically means you can, uh, it's gonna integrate to uh, our, our learning platform and Facebook. And basically Searchy.io is a platform that allows us to upload a video. And if you type in a search phrase, and let's just say you you typed in these words, type in a search phrase. I just said that 10 seconds ago. It would find that point in the video and it would then uh, start 10 seconds prior. So if there's any time I'm talking about, oh, here's how you resize an image and you type in how to resize an image, it's gonna find every time we have, we've ever said that in our different calls and show you results like a search engine, you click on it, it starts the video about 15 seconds prior and shows it to you. <clears throat> so this is some pretty cool new technology. We're integrating it. It'll be integrated into our Facebook, um, uh, our, our Facebook uh, group and our Groove Digital Academy. So what that means is the answer you're gonna be hearing from us a lot is, hey, can somebody please ask me how to do this? And you're gonna see that in Facebook, myself and Donna and John Garcia and Tom, we're gonna reply, type that into the search feature over there on that tab and it'll come up. And if we set it on this call or training video, whatever, that's gonna come there. Uh, also, John Garcia, uh, Simon, uh, myself, Donna, whatever, we are committing to doing something that we're calling daily Facebook live how-tos. There will be no time. It could be 10 a.m. Eastern. It could be 7 p.m. Eastern, but you can expect at minimum, at minimum, once a day, we're just gonna pop on live. We're getting some cool software to help us do it and automate that and get you some notifications and boom, we're just gonna be live. Uh, if that one's not gonna be Q&A. That's just gonna be, okay, everybody. Um, we are getting seem to be getting a lot of questions. People are asking about how to do this <clears throat> or how to do that or whatever. And we're going to make a video about that today. So we have a site called feedback.groovefunnels.com. 
And that looks like this. Move my microphone as I move closer to my desk. <laughs> 15 minutes, Tom. <laughs> Feedback. We knew better, mm -hmm. Mike. We yeah. knew. We just laugh at you when you say you're only going to be 15 yeah. minutes. <laughs> Feedback.groovefunnels.com. Uh, uh, we are go, Donna, we didn't add that yet, right? <clears throat> okay. We're going to be adding a new thing. As you see here, you could report a bug or a feature request. We're going to have another thing that you're going to be able to request. Can you make a video on this? And then what you're going to see is you're going to see something like this. <clears throat> You're going to see votes, make a video that shows how to do this, make a video. And guess what we're going to do our Facebook lives on? We're going to take the one with the most votes, make a live, come back in here, and then post the link to it. Boom. And then we're going to move that to done. And we're just, you're going to tell us what you want us to make a video on. You're going to vote on it. Whatever gets the most votes, we're going to do Facebook lives for you. <clears throat> Folks, we're investing in, uh, in not only the development, but in the information and the education. So that wraps that up. I've got one last thing that I want to do, and that's to talk about what is coming with Groove Pages, with Groove Pages, with the page builder. So I'm going to take a little sip here, Donna or Tom, if you want to fill in while I uh, catch a breath and take a little sip here. Absolutely. I am super excited about um, how we decided that we wanted to have some feature requests for voting up videos and training. Um, I, I've always said, we can tell you what we think you need to know, but only you can tell us what you really want to know and need to know right away. So uh, I can't, I, in fact, I'll start working on that right away uh, to get that up and rolling. Soon. Cool. Awesome. All right. So now let's go to Groove Pages. All right. <clears throat> Folks. When we set out, when we set out to create this page builder, <clears throat> we, when I say we, believe it or not, my partners, uh, and especially the conversations with Matt Naus, <clears throat> because he was leading this project. And we said, um, you have to understand there's a difference between a website builder and a funnel builder. <clears throat> And I want to be both, <clears throat> and I want it to be. I'll, I, you, you hear me use this expression a lot. It's uh, complex but not complicated. What is the best example of something that is complex but not complicated? In my opinion, it's the iPad. <clears throat> the iPad is just intuitive. You get into the software, you know, you swipe up, you pinch, you zoom, you see. Not only a two-year-old using it, no kidding, right? We, we all know that, those of you with kids. <clears throat> How do you shut your kid up? You give them the phone, and now they're happy. And you also see my dad using it, and he's 82 years old, <clears throat> right? And it doesn't come with an instruction manual. So we set out to create a, a leading software platform that the hero product would be the page builder that would be complex <clears throat> and not complicated. And guess what? We're not there yet, folks. We are not there yet. <clears throat> I build every single page that you see uh, here like this. <clears throat> uh, Groove, uh, let's go to GrooveFunnels.com, right? We come here. I built this page. I used our builder to build it, right? And it looks good. And I can get the job done. And uh, <clears throat> how many of you, let, let's ask this question. Uh, if you've used the page builder, and you find it fantastic, put a one. But if you find it awesome, but it's a little frustrating, put a two. And I need you to be completely honest And if you've used it. <clears throat> okay, we're getting uh, two ones and a lot of twos, a lot of twos, and uh, mostly twos. <clears throat> okay, um, very frustrating, uh, John Farkas. And, and John, I've got some good news for you as well. I know that you made, uh, I had four people give me a message that you had a private message for me in, in Facebook. So John, you're the one that says very frustrating. I've got good news for you, all right? Um, I'm not afraid to ask that question and I'm not afraid to admit that we are not there yet. I do wanna just fall back a little bit and say we were launching this thing to the public on July 15th, we had three months to go. <clears throat> Excuse me, and there was a lot of stuff that we that you know we know. So we do a lot of things great. You know, if if I need a little pat on the back right here, I can ask you to do we do some things good. Does it look exciting? I'm sure we get a lot of ones, right? But that's not the, the point of what I want to let you know. I'm gonna show you something, a couple of things that are coming. <clears throat> 
and these are my main gripes. But first, I'm going to start with John, uh, John uh, Farkas, uh, who asks, will we be able to do the website builder? <clears throat> so, uh, and some other things, because I know you spoke with Donna. So first of all, uh, John, this could be a hybrid, but basically John's question was, uh, among other things, so I've just created my, my web page, and I've got 19 different pages. And I decide that my, my logo designer gave me a better logo, and I like that one better. Now I have to go into 19 different pages, change logo, change logo, change logo, or save this as a favorite and swipe it in, swipe it in, swipe it in, swipe it in, swipe it in. What we're going to do, okay, John, you're going to like this feature, <clears throat> is when you're on a, a block, a particular block of a page, like a footer or a navigation or anything, there's going to be an, an additional feature here, just like when you add it to the favorite. What you're going to have is something that says, make this global. And then once you make it global, you then <clears throat> use that menu uh, almost like a favorite, right? Almost like uh, like it's like it's a favorite. Like you see here, if I if I go to I think covers, <clears throat> I have these favorites here, right? That's why they're highlighted in pink because I can remove my favorites. So you will have basically a navigation bar or a footer that you have saved now. It's locked in to be global, and what that means is. If I edit anything here, like copyright 2019, and I make it 2020, and I do this, and I add my phone number, and I hit save, <clears throat> it has now just saved across every single page that is using that global block. So that's how uh, this nice. is going to be more of, of like a website platform, okay? People are going to appreciate that. So um, uh, obviously, we're, we're doing things a little different. I'm not going to repeat a lot of things that are set out there, but you know, we allow you to create full navigational websites for your brand, that's why we're adding the blog feature. And then we're gonna have the quote unquote funnel pages. And if you don't remember that, I'm just gonna show that <laughs> to you folks real quick. Um, you know, the funnels are coming in about two weeks. Uh, and, and forgive me when I say two weeks, that's what you know what I'm being told, but the funnels are gonna, are gonna organize like this. You're going to come in <clears throat> and you'll, where you see pages right now, like this, okay? right here, this is our, our <clears throat> mock-up app that our designer designs, you're gonna see a new thing called funnels. And you're gonna see all your different funnels here. If you've got nine funnels, they're here, great. How many pages are in the funnels? We'll be right here, okay? So if you've got a funnel for your product launch, for your tripwire, for your webinar with Jim, your regular webinar, your Facebook ads webinar, your Black Friday sale, whatever it is, you'll see them here. Um, and then <clears throat> when you click on that particular webinar, you will get some stats on it here. These are the pages, your opt-in, your VSL, your, your thank you page. You can drag and drop just you know, like your hierarchy of your funnel. This is the first page, the second page of the funnel. Click on the dots, get some more information about it, edit the page, et cetera. <clears throat> now you're over here and you click, I want to add a new funnel. Well, when that happens, you'll get something like this. You get the different funnel templates. Uh, and you'll see, you can add it to a search. It'll have all different types of funnels for webinars, VSLs, tripwires, whatever. And so this is telling you, here's a VSL one. You can click preview. It has three pages. There's a webinar funnel, et cetera. And when you decide that you want to choose it, let's say you say, let's choose this VSL funnel. Well, then what's going to happen is it's going to show you the different pages uh, in there. <clears throat> and then you name the funnel and you start working. So all your funnels are going to be uh, organized here. So what makes us different than other builders is when you create a project site, anytime that you say publish to this domain, publish to this domain, you never go back out of the system and create another site. <clears throat> no, you create another page if you want it in this.com or you will create another funnel, which you'll, you'll as we just showed you here. So every, what this means is once you're in this site, anything that's happening in this.com will be here. Your blog, your, your pages that are on the navigation, your hidden pages, your funnels, everything. <clears throat> now let's get to the exciting stuff. <clears throat> this stuff up here where you're changing and applying styles to different stuff, I'm not going to get into it right now. All I'm telling you is that this is going to be exponentially just intuitive. Uh, and we, we've come up with a way that I just can't wait to share with you that is just going to uh, it's just going to blow you away. You're going to snap on these things. You're going to know if it's affecting just the screen or anything from the screen higher and not the ones behind. We put a lot of work into that and we've cracked the code. You're going to love that. You're just absolutely going to love that. Essentially, the way it works right now is if I make a change right here, it's happening to all screens. But if I go like this, 
well, then it's only happening on this size screen and then I can design it to be a different font. For, I'll give you an example. <clears throat> right here, <clears throat> if I'm in mobile view and I say all screens, if I change the size of the text here by changing the slider, it's gonna change it on all screens. But I wanna change it right now, so I shut off the all screens and I only wanna change it on the mobile. I don't like that this year is following here. So watch what I do. I'm gonna drag this down a little bit uh, so that it's on three lines. But if uh, just to prove the point here, I'm gonna move it to it's really, really tiny, like this, okay? Now, if I go over to my big screen, uh, <coughs> oh, well, it's it's hard to explain. That, 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 that was all screens that are bigger, but I should, uh, size, uh, let me just size this one here first, like this, and now if I, I have this little green dot, all this stuff is going away. Now, if I go back to this screen, and I make it smaller, it doesn't affect this screen. So <clears throat> what just happened to me, you saw my confusion right there, that's no longer gonna happen again. We're gonna have something in the, in the, uh, the way that this works that you will clearly know that it's happening to just that device or everything in that device or greater. And we're going away from these little green dots here and stuff like that. We're gonna keep them here to let you know the change was here, but you won't have to worry about that there. <clears throat> Let's talk about the next thing. When you work on a Google Doc, you know what's really nice about a Google Doc? You click right here and you start typing. So we're also instituting uh, that anytime that you click on a particular section of text, it is literally going to just go right like this. So you're gonna be looking at your website just like this. And if you wanna edit right here and put the word hello, you'll just go hello, just like that. <clears throat> you won't have to go click, click again, click the T and then put your cursor where you want it. We're gonna have real-time Google Google Doc, click where you want, start typing. So that's coming as well. Um, the next thing is we realize that when you do something like add a countdown timer or a form, let me just uh, bring in a non-style countdown timer, for instance, <clears throat> let's just drop that right here uh, for right now. Uh, right here looks good, right? So this is another thing. Since we, we allow you to do things that you can't with others, we let you change the, the font right here. I can change the font and the font size. I can style this countdown timer, uh, for example, uh, by going here and taking the background and making the background red. And then the one inside of that, I can take that background and make it white <clears throat> like this, right? And then take that font in there <clears throat> and make that red. Now, the only thing is, if you're noticing, I'm in the countdown timer, but how do I how do I do the countdown timer? Well, that gets a little tricky, right? What you have to do is you have to go down to here and go into this, this section here and click on countdown. And now it's selected the countdown, or you have to click up and then up until you see that, oh, okay, this is telling me I'm in the countdown timer. Now I can configure the countdown timer. <clears throat> so yes, we get that. Uh, when doing things like that, I'll give you one more example. You're integrating your, your AWeber form and you put a form in here like this and you now click here and you say, okay, well, how do I configure the form? Well, that's to configure my button. What's going on? Oh, I have to go over here and click on AWeber and now I can do this. <clears throat> Intuitive? No. Okay, so what we did, we spent time with the developers and we realized, hey, there are certain things like elements, like countdown timers, and web forms and things like that. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be changing the colors of, of, uh, of the, the different things uh, right now are green. So anything that's an element, when you're actually on an element, it's gonna have a much thicker yellow border and it'll have a tab right here. Even if you're on the countdown timer, for instance, <clears throat> right here, right here, you will still have a tab that will always show that will say configure countdown timer. And now the, the biggest thing I want to let you know about is that we are adding two modes. Right now, you're always in layout mode and you're always in style and element mode. We're going to have a toggle switch where you're going to go from this mode where you can work on your elements to something called layout mode. And when you go to layout mode, <clears throat> essentially what's going to happen is on each section of the page, um, you're going to see something that, that the whole page is going to go like this. Okay, so it's telling you don't worry about your elements right now. And guess what? You're gonna be able to grab and you're gonna see all the grids. 
you're going to be able to just grab, make this taller or smaller. You want to make this a little bit wider, you just drag. There'll be a little tiny thing for a padding, you'll just drag the padding. And you'll see quick little things like add row, add column, make this three columns, go to four columns, click to five, go back to two, add a, another column or a row underneath, and we're calling that layout mode. <clears throat> okay, so what's cool about that is if you just basically want to size this a little bit bigger, drag this little here, no more will you have to do anything like you know go into here. You'll still have this, and you can do things like this, right? You'll still have this. This panel will be here, padding and margin, margins. But wouldn't it be cool that you just go into a layout mode and you just see a drag handle and you just stretch this down a little bit and uh, and do that. <clears throat> so, uh, so yes, we are going to be making it. Uh, much easier to be able to find and configure things, edit text on your page, lay out different things, your blocks, all these different things. Folks, I use the, the builder too. I understand the frustration. So um, I see, you know, Dwight says, love it. Uh, it uh, some say uh, it sounds simple. Like, yeah, there's a, there's a couple of different uh, apps out there. Uh, we're, you know, we're looking at you know, some, we don't like to have layout mode all the time. <clears throat> I'm just going to show you folks just just so you know, there's one uh, out there called Funnel Flex, right? Um, and uh, let's log in here. I'm not a robot. Is that, uh, let's click login. Okay. <clears throat> so let me give you an example. This is what I don't like about this. This is what we call epileptic design. As I'm moving around this, you notice it's giving me everything to change. And, I, and we even put a delay on hours, right? When you When you click on hours, we don't want that happening when you move around. Notice you have to go slow uh, onto uh, onto an element until you start seeing uh, you know seeing anything highlighting above it. <clears throat> okay, so these types of things here, when you're moving around and all these little red and green dots, they 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 kind of bug you. So you see right here this little column mode. Look at that, left to right. This is what we're going to have. You want to add an additional um, uh, an additional block to make it a three column. You'll just do something like that. <laughs> right. Um, you want to move this up and down the padding, et cetera, all these different things. You'll just grab and move. So we're going to have that. The only thing is, I think these things are very distracting when you're trying to work on your text. Right. So we're going to have something where you'll go up and you will make that layout mode. And then you can go in and say, OK, add another column and make it uh, make make it size, you know, accordingly like uh, like this. OK, so that is uh, that's going to be coming soon uh, as well. So obviously our job is to look at uh, different competitors going back and then I'm going to turn it over to Tom right now. Uh, uh, let me just get back to a particular screen here. Uh, what we realize is that the most important thing that you want when it comes to a web page is that when you want to get down and dirty and you want to add a shadow to this, you know, this thing here, and you want to, you know, do an embossed shadow, uh, or, you know, or, you know, or you want to uh, do different types of, um, I'm sorry, borders, you know, across just the top and all this different type of stuff. Yeah, you can't you can't do that with other software. <clears throat> That's all well and good. That's all well and good. But there is a simplicity to quote unquote the leading brand to go in, have a, 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 a template that's made to design well, change your headline, hit publish and go. And I'm well aware of that. And I promise you, we're not going to be just there. We're going to leapfrog that stuff. It is it is going to be powerful and intuitive. It's going to be complex, but not complicated. And one more thing, we're getting rid of expert mode. <clears throat> it will always be expert mode from now on. Um, so it, this, this, this will be switched to off. And then when you click on and turn it like this, we're changing that to quick mode. And the quick mode is going to be basically, this is going to be redone, but basically quick mode means just five or six different things are open. And that means, look, I just want to get in and change the font, the size, the color, and add some padding. That's it. You'll click on on uh, you know any, any section, and you'll have a quick mode where you can just change the color. And we're going to call that quick mode. We're going to add a couple of more quick things where you're like, you know what? This is cool when I want to do shadows, and I want to do sizing, and all these different things. But opening and closing all this stuff can be a little bit of pain in the ass. We'll call that you know Photoshop mode. You want to go nuts. But we're going to change that. We're going to have something called quick mode where you can go in and basically, essentially, just I just want to change this color real quick. Center the text, boom, go on to the next one, center the text, and not have to worry about opening and sliding things down. So uh, 46 minutes, Tom. I crashed your party again. Uh, but at this point, I think I'm going to edit this 
part of the video out and just make it, you know, part of some type of, you know, intro video that we'll email to everybody until I get a full video done for everybody because I think there's a lot of information here. So I'm, uh, uh, I'm just going to uh, ask you, Tom and Donna, what, what were the comments? What were people uh, saying uh, while this was going on? All right. Well, first of all, good job. And second of all, for y'all here, uh, I am super excited. And not just because what Mike shared, but the vision well beyond what he's discussed today is just massive. So I think all of you will get where they're going with this and their commitment to making it happen. I mean, here we are in an economic shutdown worldwide and they're doubling down. They're hiring developers. They're moving forward and y'all are going to benefit from it uh, all around the world. So uh, the feedback was great. Awesome. Thank you. Where are the replays? How? Okay. So a whole bunch of questions all over the place. Uh, love these new new upgrades and the page builder. Superb. Uh, My how do we very create favorite comment, Tom. Yep. My absolute favorite one is from Deborah, and and it says it all. It says this is the this is what we want to hear all the time from our customers. Jeepers, maybe I'll stop being afraid of tech stuff. <laughs> Good. That's that that that's really our goal there, folks. It so really again, is. Yep. Thanks to all the backers. Uh, thanks Donna and Tom for letting me come in, do a little bit of an update. Now I do see a couple of people that say, hey, maybe make the cursor yellow and all this type of stuff. But I just want to remind you again, uh, in your app down at the bottom, you see feature requests, right? That's going to take you here. If you want something done, we every single thing that you put here creates a Trello card, goes to our board. Uh, other people can vote it up. We do look at every one of these different things. Go in, put a feature request in, just drop down here. Just go to Groove Pages, Feature Request, and type in. Now, if you know you type in something like you want with MailChimp, and you type in MailChimp, if I can type MailChimp, what you're going to see, oh, wow, somebody uh, has already made some different things here, and there's five votes, and, oh, wow, this is exactly what I wanted. And you could leave a comment and say, hey, can you also add this? So <clears throat> that means you don't have to go to the help desk. You don't have to go to the Facebook group. You can go to a place where... You know, look, cloning an entire site, 41 different people. Obviously, we're gonna have uh, we're gonna have that uh, that that feature put in, right? Uh, so so yeah, there you go, folks. Uh, there's a roadmap. You can you can learn about uh, when you click on the roadmap, what what's being planned, what's in progress, what's already been completed, all that type of stuff. So that's it, Tom. I'm uh, actually gonna bounce out. I also wanna you know uh, mention I, I didn't I didn't bring John uh, uh, Cornetta on. I don't know if you're still on, John. If you wanna say hello, I know he said he was only gonna be on for a few minutes. Uh, he to feed the kids and stuff but uh if not tom tom uh tana tom and donna i'm going to turn it over to you and tana. i'm going to go it's official now tana. i'm <laughs> going to go uh, take my uh my daily walk here and uh, right. so uh, i'll listen to the rest of this on uh, on the replay thanks right. everybody talk soon right. Bye -bye thank now. you mike uh exciting as always john cornetta if you're here unmute yourself we'd love to hear from you as well but uh, John, Mike, and the whole team is just 100% committed to helping this achieve what I, I too agree, Donna, that was the best quote ever, how to not be scared of tech stuff. And that's the goal. So we're going to jump into some stuff today, Donna, that I think is going to be very exciting, especially for our new users uh, and even uh, for the people that have been with us for numerous weeks. And here's the brief, the brief summary of what we're going to be discussing today. As you see here, um, we had Mike come on. And he shared his uh, incredible updates with us. And we're going to now dive into what's working now and how to get started fast. So there's several quotes prior to us jumping into this that um, I think it's it's important to remind myself and everyone else on here of the, the power of this. Imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. Um, so I'll say that again just to, to let it sink in. Imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. And I'm saying that because we are in a time that is unlike any other time in history where a lot of businesses uh, doors are closed. A lot of businesses, the old way of doing things is not the way that it needs to be done now. So we're going to talk about what's working now, how to get started fast and uh, being someone who applies that truth that I just stated there. And uh, another way to say it, say it is you don't have to get it right. You just have to get it going. So prior to us diving in there, Donna, I think you might enjoy this story. You may remember it from years ago. Mike and I shared it, but it, it, I think maybe on the first cruise all those years ago, 
uh, we might have shared it, or the second cruise. But it happened around 2007, early 2007, possibly late 2006. Mike and I were invited to go to Trump University. And, and side note, this has nothing to do with Donald Trump. This is just a story that is absolutely pertinent to today's day and time. Uh, so we go in and we, we're like, you know, taking a picture outside Trump Towers in Manhattan and like, oh, man, we're going in, in the big the big time now. And and so we get in, we get up to Trump University and we meet with the person who's pretty much running the show there. And we ask them this simple question. So share with us your lead generation strategy. And he looked at us with this quizzical look. He was not sure what we were asking. And we said, no, how do you generate leads? He's like, what do you mean by leads? We just get clients. I said, well, what do you do? And Mike, Mike and I were both like, well, what do you do to collect and, and provide value? What's, what's the thing where you get people's name and email address and how do you work with the list? And he also looked at us with that, that confused look and said, oh, I already told you, we don't grow our list. We just do what we do to generate clients. And I'm bringing this because it, it was kind of mind boggling to Mike and my, myself when that happened because they're missing the basics. And if we get back to the basics, Let's just answer these two questions. You probably heard this. The money is in the list, right? So the first one is the L, the list. The money is in the list. And the second one, the money is in the F. Type in what you think the F is. <laughs> it sounds, I probably should have picked the other one for that. What do you think the F is? There it is. The money is in the follow-up. Yes. And another person, Deborah, put in funnel. Yes, the funnel is going to be... Uh, uh, pertinent to that, which actually is the follow-up, right? So the money is in the list and the money is in the follow-up. Um, so those things I want you to keep in your mind as you're getting action fast. You're taking action at the good enough level. It doesn't have to be perfect, but imperfect action is better than perfect inaction. And always remembering the basics that the money is in the list. The money is in the follow-up, which leads to that third fill in the blank there. These are questions you want to be asking yourself. Where is my next L and S coming from? And, and I, I just threw this together to, to help you think of this. I usually do it in two separate sentences. Where is my next lead coming from? Where is my next opt-in coming from? And the S is where is my next sale coming from? Where is my next sale coming from? Now, it's different for each business, but if you keep that focus and say, all right, what am I doing today to generate more leads? And how am I taking those leads and converting them into clients? And if you stick to those basics and you use the tools that we're going to be jumping into uh, very quickly and showing you how to get up and running fast, you're not going to overcomplicate things. You're not going to let shiny object syndrome hold you back. So you, you know that the money is in the list. The money is in the follow up. I could put with that list. And here's some irony, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of people who build lists get so busy in building the list that they forget the follow up. They forget that they need to continually be communicating with those people and think of that like a relationship. If you have your significant other, how often do you think it's good to chat and communicate with those people? You probably say on a daily basis, right? <laughs> you may put each other in quarantine if you be around each other for too long in this quarantine, but uh, you'd want to communicate on a daily basis. Same thing with the list. You need to communicate with your list, which is the follow up, which leads to where is my next sale coming from? So we're, I just wanted to share that briefly. And then also um, in today's day and age, if we jump back to what's working right now, we have to, as marketers, enter the conversation that's going on in our clients' minds, in our ideal prospects' minds. What is that conversation? So Donna, I felt it was important to bring back this, this visual to remind people and remind the people who are new how you can enter that conversation in your prospect's mind. So, um, and, and just so you know, we are gonna be jumping over to Groove Pages very quickly. I'm gonna show you how to get up and running very fast to generate your leads, to generate the follow-up, to generate the sales. But in marketing, we always have to remember this, this image right here. Now this image was pasted inside the Facebook group and I'm gonna go over it briefly here, but what this does is show you a little bit deeper than what you may have been told in the past about an avatar or a persona. This is what's called an empathy map. And this particular empathy map is one that is a frustrated internet marketer. So if you're in the internet marketing space, uh, I would highly recommend you go get this image inside the Facebook group um, and study it a little bit because 
let's just let's just break it down. So regardless of what your niche is, you start with your ideal prospect in the middle. So you see that little picture of the face there with the brain and 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 what you see is pretty much a brief avatar or persona of who this person is. 45 years old, married, two kids, and it goes on and on. So you need to be very clear of who your avatar is, who is your ideal prospect, who is your ideal client. And then moving from left to right in the clockwise direction, in the upper left, you see thinking slash feeling. What is your ideal prospect thinking or feeling? And you need to put words to that. And when you put words to that, you can get clarity on what's going on in their mind and how you can enter that conversation in their mind. Um, I see some some people here. Uh, can you post a link to that image? That link is inside the Facebook group. Um, and I don't have a link to it. It's it's actually an image. So it will we'll go into the Facebook group after and re uh, comment on it. So it's brought back up to the top. But we'll go do that now. OK, perfect. Thanks, Don. Yeah, also grab the link and put it in the chat. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so when you first have your persona or avatar that's in the middle, then you create a box and you and you literally sit down with pen to paper and ask yourself, what are these people thinking? What are they feeling? And, you know, just for example of this frustrated Internet marketer, I don't think this will ever work. I've tried everything. Uh, I'm sick of uh, everyone else making money, uh, you know, it, it, all sorts of great stuff. So uh, I hate my job. I, I need to work from home, have more freedom. Um, this this training looks great, but I don't want to spend time learning something else unless I'm sure and certain that it will work. I'm sick of all the noise, BS and false promises. I feel ripped off and frustrated, blah, blah, blah. So in your particular niche, what are your people thinking? What are they feeling? Then circle over to the top right corner. What are they seeing? What's going on in your industry? What are they seeing? And what's the norm? And and when you get a hold of what they're seeing, you can tie that back to add some more things into over what they're thinking and feeling. And then down in the bottom right corner, what are they saying and and or asking? What are they, what are they saying out loud to others? Uh, you know, and 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 how can you get put words to to that for your particular niche? And then over in the bottom left hand side, what are they hearing? What's going on? And and this is, you know, what are they hearing from the people in their, you know, in their circles, their friends, their family, their coworkers, things of that line, of that nature. For this particular example, uh, you know, they're hearing the I am's a mugs game. Only the gurus make money. Uh, you're a dreamer. Uh, you know, have you ever made any money yet? Uh, let's have a look at one of your websites. How do you make money online? All those types of things they're hearing. So what are they hearing from people that may be encouraging them? and from people that maybe discourage them, depending on what your particular niche is. Um, so this is something that very few people uh, have, have seen, but it's highly powerful. And I wanted to remind you, that in order to get going fast, in order to get going quickly, you need to first start with the basics. You need to first have a very good understanding of who that ideal prospect is, what they're thinking and feeling, what they're seeing, what they're saying, what they're asking, what they're hearing. And then below the head, you see the language. What's the language in that particular niche that you're in? And and those are the key words. And if people aren't in that niche, they would have no idea what the heck that link that language is. But those people that are in that particular world, uh, that's what's talked about on a regular basis. So once you have that, now you can take your messaging and go put that message into a format, whether it's a video, whether it's an audio, whether it's text and or a combination of all that and take it from your idea of assisting them and, and helping them get from where they are to where they want to be. And I'm going to recap a couple methods that Mike, Phil, Same and I uh, used with a blank sheet of paper. And, and, and keep in mind, these are the basics. So you start when, whenever Mike and I had a new promotion that we were coming up with or a blank sheet of paper. OK, what is it? Who, who is it that we're looking to help with this? You know, what are they thinking? What are they seeing? What are they hearing? What are they feeling? All that stuff. And then we said, okay, how can we narrow it down to these nine words? And with these nine words, uh, when we worked together from 2006 to 2011, it generated multiple tens of millions of dollars. These nine words, my hope is, can help you stick to the basics and simplify your message. So once you've identified who that ideal prospect is and you have a good understanding of what it's going to take to enter the conversation in their mind, how can you do these things? Tell your story, share your results, and sell your system. 
Sound simple. Let me let me give you a, a, a example that you may remember. Uh, everyone probably has heard of Tony Robbins, right? Well, Tony Robbins, if you saw that infomercial back in the 90s, he was frustrated living in that single bedroom apartment, washing his dishes in the bathtub until one day he said, I've had enough. And he just opened the door and started running down the street. I'm doing this from memories of almost 30 years ago. I'm sure you remember this as well. Why? Because if you break down his formula for selling personal power, you'll clearly recognize that he tells his story, he shares his results, and he sells his system. And so some people, when they hear this, are like, well, yeah, that's Tony Robbins. Well, that's Mike Phil Same. That's Tom Beal. That's Donna Fox. That's John Cornetta. They got stories. They got results. They got systems. I don't have it. Well, let me just share with you a brief story. So I was in the United States Marine Corps, and I was someone who was an avid book reader. And at a local church, there was this person who had climbed the highest mountains in the world with one leg. And I was like, whoa, that is cool. I wanted to get his book. I wanted to hear his story. And I went there and I, and I waited in line to get his autograph for his book. And while he was telling his story about being a young child and falling off a boat and the boat motor uh, you know, running him over and having to have his leg amputated and, and all that depression and then leading to climbing the mountains, when he shared that, and then he's like, you know what, I'm going to not let this, this missing of a leg stop me from following my passion of climbing mountains. And then he did it and he wrote a book and he speaks about it. I was sitting in the back of the audience, not probably at the front. At the time I was sitting in the front of the audience. I was always the one right in the front taking notes. And uh, I said, well, that's great for him, but I don't have a story. I got both my legs. I don't have any accidents. I don't have any, you know, tragedy that struck. And as I sat there thinking, I didn't have a story. Here's the predecessor to that. So my name is Tom Beal. I was born to teenagers, 17 year old mother, 19 year old father, um, and was raised around four divorces and six marriages between my teenage parents. They were married and divorced, uh, four, four, four marriages, six, four divorces, six marriages between the two of them. I went to nine different schools by eighth grade, was a national bicycle champion, was a, uh, a top wrestler. And then went into the United States Marine Corps, was the number one honor graduate from United States Marine Corps boot camp, meritoriously promoted uh, th three times in four years. Uh, and then went, in, you know, so by the time I was sitting in the audience, that was my story. Yet I didn't think I had a story. And I'm not saying that story to, to, to brag or anything, but I'm, I'm sharing with you. The reason I'm telling you that story is I was sitting there with that story that you just heard thinking I don't have a story. So I'm sharing this with you to remind you if you're sitting there thinking, well, yeah, great for you, Tom. Great for Mike. Great for that guy with one leg who climbed all the mountains. I don't have a story. Guess what? You do have a story. And, and write this down. I don't have a slide for this, but your story revolves around these three letters. Write these down. P-E-P. P-E-P. -E -P. Your personality, your experience, and your perspective. Your personality, your experience, and your perspective is unique. I don't care how many competitors you have. I don't care how many gurus you have in your space. Uh, let's just pick a health niche. You're, you're someone who helps people lose weight and become fit, whatever, whatever genre that looks like. And you have your special way. You've got your personality. You've got your experience. You've got your perspective. That makes you unique. I don't care if there's thousands of people in your marketplace with your personality, experience, and perspective. You can tell your story. You can share your results. And you can sell your system. So then it leads. So we talked about tell your story. We'll share your results. Some people are like, well, you know, my results. Well, those are your results. Just speak what you've lived, right? Just you don't have to exacerbate. You don't have to uh, exaggerate. You can just tell the results what they are, and you'll learn how to how to you know use copy to to get people's attention and keep people's attention as you practice that craft. But just tell your story, uh, share your results, and then sell your system. Then some people say, well, I don't have a system. Great. So did, neither did Tony Robbins. He didn't have personal power. It, he thought about, hey, what's what's a program that I can create for people to have a transformation in their life? You know, and you pick your niche and you look at a couple of the different programs that are out there and the ones that are the top sellers, their system wasn't a system until they just gave it a name. Right. So I now am flashing my pen and tapping you on the shoulder. You are now dubbed to create your system. <laughs> that you can then sell. Uh, right. Are we so, knighting everyone? <laughs> yes, everyone is knighted to, to now create your own system. You can give it a name and now voila, you have your own system. The 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 Brad Lenart system. You rock, Tom. Brad, thank you. Uh, 
the pep. Dwight Perry, put pep in there. Laura Davis, uh, your delight. Thank you. So whoever you are, wherever you are in the world, you heard we got people all over the world. You, one of three things. Well, I don't have a story. Well, you just heard you have your story, your pep, your personality, your experience, your perspective. You will find your story. And remember, I thought I didn't have a story when you just heard my story. It took me time to craft craft that and think about that. Because here's the things with stories. That was just my life. And your life is just your life. Other people look at it like, holy crap, that's quite incredible. Me, I'm just like, well, that's my life. Same thing if I'm looking at your life. Like you might think, well, that's no big deal. I just live my life. Yeah. And that's how Tony Robbins thinks. That's how Mike Phil Same thinks. That's how Donna Fox thinks. That's how I think. You're not alone. We're just like, I just do what I do. And that's just what I do, right? But when you break it down, so here's here's what you're going to be breaking it down when you look into your story and your results. And then we'll talk about coming up with your system in a second. You're going to have to deconstruct it from this manner. See, we all start at this stage, unconsciously incompetent. We're all unconsciously incompetent. We don't know what we don't know. Then we learn a little bit like now we're consciously incompetent. Now we know what we don't know. And we have to work on it, right? And then we work on it, work on it. Now we become consciously competent. We can do it, but we got to put time, effort, and energy to think about it. But then when we do it so frequently and so repetitively, we then transfer into unconsciously competent, like tying your shoe, like driving home from work or driving to a place you go to all the time. You don't have to think about it. It's just unconsciously competent because you've done it so many times repetitively. So we go from that unconsciously incompetent to unconsciously competent and you're going to have to break it down because your life is your life. Just like my life was my life. And I, I stand there with my arms crossed. Well, I don't have a story. Well, I was unconsciously competent at it. I had to break it down to become consciously competent, right? We just live our life. We just do our thing. But when you break it down and then you start asking the questions, how did I do that? And so, so I asked myself a question. How did you become that national bicycle champion? How did you become number one in five sales organizations? How did you become uh, the number one honor graduate at United States Marine Corps boot camp? How'd you become that top wrestler? Now, here's the kick, ladies and gentlemen. My first answer from my mind was, well, they were so different that there's really no similarities. That was my first answer of my mind. Well, I did different things in each of those different areas. And so I asked myself a better question. Write that down. Ask myself better questions. So I didn't accept that answer because it's true. In the Marine Corps, I did certain things that I didn't do when becoming that national bike champion, that I didn't do when being that top wrestler, that I didn't do uh, to be number one in five sales organizations. So then I asked a better question. I said, well, what were the five things that I did in all those unrelated things to go from not knowing what I didn't know to becoming unconsciously competent? And then I narrowed it down. Once, once I narrowed it down, I said, okay, what are the five things that I did across the board that, that narrowed it down. It went from everything and anything and too many different things to like, okay, what were the five commonalities? And from those five commonalities became my first system. And so that was a five-step process to get from where you are to where you want to be that applied to me in every one of those unrelated things. So that's how I deconstructed these nine words. And I want you to, to write these nine words down, to commit to me, commit to yourself that you're going to figure out what your story is. You're going to figure out what your results are that will intrigue people to want similar results. If they can, you want people to say, if, if he can do it or she can do it, I can do it, right? You, know, you don't want to beat your chest like I am Superman or Superwoman. And yes, of course I could do it, but no one else could. That's not the message you want to have in your story or results. You want to make it as if, well, if I can do it, the bumbling fool that I was, uh, you definitely can do it. Trust me. And even more so with my guidance, right? You want to have them have that feeling that if you can do it, I can do it type of thing. And then great news. I've created this system to where you don't have to go down the 15 years of the dead end paths of having to fall flat on your face and pick yourself back up. I've gone through that and I, I help you stay away from those detours and those roadblocks and get you from where you are to where you want to be quickly, efficiently, eff effectively. And here's the deal, right? So that's a little more in depth of the nine words, right? But I, hopefully you get that. So um, Stephen Horney, you're a devil dog. Yes, Semper Fi, devil dog. Uh, anyone can do it. Brad, yes. Uh, remember Jeff, what do we got here? Jeff Belfort, ab competent. Okay. Um, good stuff, Alexander. Um, 
I was talking a lot, so I wasn't paying much attention to the, the, the chat, Sarah, but it looks like everyone's still on point. Give me a two if you're enjoying this breakdown of how to get from where you are to where you want to be quickly. Give me a two in the chat. All right, perfect. So I we like there, Tom. I was typing a lot in the chat, so I wasn't listening to you. <laughs> John, Tom, can, I, can, I, can I yell out two? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yell yeah. out, my friend. Good to, he good to hear your voice. I miss you. I hear, miss you, man. So what's going on, John? Fill us in. How are you liking this? Oh, I'm loving it, man. I'm I'm on and off. Like my internet went hit, went off twice while during the webinar. So Mike was just telling me he was shouting me out, and I was like, "Yeah, man, I'm sitting cool. here loving it." You know, you know me, man. I'm I'm early riser and uh, walking on the beach and doing all the stuff with you, man. Absolutely, I love it, man. Good. I look forward to seeing you back here on the East Coast soon. All right, good to have you here, brother. Hit me uh, hit me up anytime. You you want to throw something in there? You got it. All right. So uh, someone asked, could I share the nine words again? It, uh, it's it's right there. Those are the nine words right there on the screen. Tell your story, share your results, sell your system. That's the nine words there. And then uh, someone asked, wow, here, here we go. Colin, Colin asked, Colin Gardner asked, what are the five steps? Anyone else interested in hearing the five steps or should I just keep on going with the training? Who else? Give me, <laughs> if you want to hear the, oh, here we go. George, what's the five steps? Gordon, oh, yes, yes. Sherilyn, okay, five steps. This, ladies and gentlemen, funny enough, uh, Donna and John, you get a kick out of this. I trained these five steps at the $5,000 per person event that Mike Vilsame and I did in February of 2007 that led up to 070707. Those are the recordings that we called the seven figure code. So I shared this at a $5,000 per person event. Jeff Walker was there. He was paid a uh, client there. Russell Brunson was there as a paid client on and on. It was the who's who they're listening to these five steps. Um, I called them at the time. Uh, the success magnet system. Um, so back in February of 07, uh, they were the sex, success magnet system, uh, the five, si five simple steps to get from where you are to where you want to be. Um, and here they are, the five steps. First, you need a vision. So step number one, vision. You got to say, that's what I want to do. That's what I, that is what I want to do. So for example, I saw the movie Rad where they were doing tricks on bikes in the in the early 80s and i was like whoa that is cool how do they do that so i was intrigued i'm like i want to do that i had no idea how i was going to do that but i saw it and i was like i want to do that so you all are here because you've seen someone in your niche do some things or you've seen the internet marketing tools and and uh, uh people in that space doing some things that you're like i want to do that that was another time when i said that back in 2001 2002 i saw a dude named corey rudell uh, from Internet Marketing Center, and he didn't seem that much, he was smart, don't get me wrong, super smart, but he didn't seem that much smarter than me. But I was stuck in an office, working from a desk and having to ask my boss for a vacation and not making as much money as I was hoping to be making. And he was traveling the world doing fun things. I said, I wanna do that. That's another example of that vision, that vision. Another example was when I, uh, when I was in college, I worked at Vector Marketing Corporation selling Cutco Cutlery and my sales manager was a big fan of Zig Ziglar. And I am also a big fan of Zig Ziglar. And I heard Zig's tapes and I watch his videos and I was like, man, this, this guy speaks and touches my heart. Like he's changed my life and I've never met him. I said, I wanna do that. And so I'm pointing that out to the vision. The vision, you don't have to know how or what the steps are gonna be, but you just know that's what's mine to do. So when I heard Zig, I'm like, man, wouldn't it be amazing? I said, hey, I'm so grateful for him putting that time, energy, and effort, sharing, tell, basically going through those nine words, telling his story, sharing his results, and selling his systems that changed my perspective in my life and my trajectory and my results. I was like, man, wouldn't it be great one day to be able to speak and tell stories from my journey that could help others around the world on their journey? And when I said that in 1990, 1991, I had no idea that would become decades later um, what I would be doing. And same thing with the bike riding, same in all these different areas. So first step is vision. Second step is belief. Belief. You got to have belief on numerous levels. You got to have belief in the first thing that I mentioned to all of y'all tonight that it if they can do it, I can do it. Belief that, you know, and, 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 and with certain uh, parameters, right? I'm not the tallest uh, person. And, and if I saw Michael Jordan or Shaquille O'Neal playing basketball and me saying, I want to be that. Like I'd have to be really committed and really uh, crazy to do that. And similarly, as Zig Ziglar used to say, if Shaquille O'Neal says, I want to be a horse jockey 
and race horses, he's just not the right fit for that. Right? <laughs> he's not the 90 pound person riding that horse around the track. So, you know, within reason, when you say, I want to do that, you know, and I'm not here to limit anybody's beliefs, but just so you get the point. Um, so, so belief, if they can do it, I can do it. That's the first thing. And now in business, you have to have belief in this aspect, belief in your company, belief in your product, belief in your service. You have to have 100% belief in your company, your product, and your service. If you have a, a glitch in that, you have to find something that you have full belief in. As soon as you have a glitch, you either have to rebuild that belief fully or you got to bail. If you're with a company that you can't look and say, this is, the, I believe in this company, I believe in this product, I believe in this service, service you got to find one that you do. And I say that because I was number one in five sales organizations in corporate world, uh, mainly in, in the five step process was in, in, in this, uh, in my rise at the top, because I believed in the company, I believed in the product, I believe in the service, and I believe that the value that I brought to it by being that sales rep made the competition irrelevant. And my belief led to a lot of, of victorious sales that if people didn't have the level of belief I had, would have lose. And that led to my, my winning on the wrestling mat. That led to me winning in competitions in, in bicycle freestyle. It led me to being the, the, the honor man in boot camp because I believed in myself. I believed in my product, my service, uh, my company. I believe in myself. And you also have to believe in the law of sowing and reaping. You have to believe that, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to take care of this field so that it produces the great results for me. Right. I can't look at the field and, and hope it's going to produce great results. I got to pull the weeds out. I got to I got to till the soil. I got to plant the seeds. I got to uh, fertilize it. I got to water it. I got to care for it. And then, you know, the law of sowing and reaping, that field will produce great results. It won't sit there happening. Uh, there's an old there's an old saying of a guy walking by this guy's beautiful lawn. And he's like, man. God sure blessed you with this amazing lawn. He's like, yes, he has. And he said, man, and he said, well, you should have seen it before. You should have seen it when God had it all to himself. <laughs> God needs you to help. him. <laughs> the land has lots of potential. You got you to gotta be there to help bring that potential out of it. So you got to have law in. So you got to believe in the law of sowing and reaping, the law of cause and effect. So that's belief. And, and you, have to, you have to have belief. What is, what's that one? Um, statement by Henry Ford. He says, whether you think you can or think you can't, you're right. You have to think that you can, but not even think it, not even believe it. You have to know there's a different level. You just have to know I'm, I'm putting in the effort and I'm going to figure this out. I'm going to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes to figure it out. And I know that I'm putting the right effort in with the right guidance. And I believe to a level of knowing that it's on the way. All right. Then the third step is identify and align. So the first step, vision, second step, belief, third step, identify and align. You could put in parentheses mentorship. So in each of the roles of me wanting to be the speaker, I had mentors that helped me and guided me. Here's the steps you need to take. Uh, Jeffrey Gittimer helped guide me. He, he got me into National Speakers Association. He helped guide me down the path that I would have never, uh, it would have taken me a lot longer had I not followed his guidance. Um, Zig Ziglar pointed me down a path. You know, lots of mentors early on helped me to become that speaker. And in internet marketing, Mike Filsame, huge guy back 2006 to 2011, showed me what to do, what not to do, and followed his lead. So identify and align. You've got to find the right leaders, the right mentors to, to basically answer the question like, hey, here's where I am. Here's where I'm going. How do I get there quickest uh, with with without hitting this, <laughs> the roadblocks and dead ends that, you know, you may have hit on your journey? You're where I am. How do I get there from my position? So identify and align. The fourth step is commitment to action. Commitment to action. You got to be willing to do the work. That's where the rubber meets the road. There's a lot of people that love to talk and would love, oh man, I'd love to have those great results. Of course you would. When Mike and I were producing uh, the great results we were from 2006 to 2011, I mean, we were in workaholic mode. And I'm not saying that to be proud, but we were working our tail off. And of course, people wanted the results that we were getting, but we were putting in ridiculous hours that finally we woke up a little fat and happy and we had to tr we, we chose to transform you know, out of that stage of workaholism. But you have to be willing to do the work. Fourth step is commitment to action. The escape velocity to get out of the atmosphere is difficult and not everybody can do it. It takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of effort. It takes, and especially if, if you skip step, step three and don't have that, that uh, coach to guide you through or that, that mentor to guide you through, it's gonna be a lot more time and energy that's, that's gonna be required. 
but it takes a lot of energy to get that escape velocity. You got to roll your sleeves up and be willing to do whatever it takes for as long as it takes ethically and honestly to get that escape velocity. And that's the fourth step. So we talked about vision, belief, identifying a line, commitment to action. And the fifth step, this is my favorite, have fun. Ladies and gentlemen, life is brief. I think uh, we've all had reminders of that. Uh, I, I, I lost my, my mother at 52 years old in 2007. I lost my father at 56 years old in 2009. And uh, I had my own near-death experience on September 11th, 1998. And one thing I've learned in my life is this journey goes fast. And if, if we recognize that from this standpoint that we are and we realize, look, the years are going to go by fast. The decades, decades are going to go by fast. And just like I was there for my mom and dad's last breath, and I had to learn to walk and talk again during my near-death experience, uh, my, my hypothesis is we'll all be at that last day, last breath, and we'll, we'll wish we made more fun of it. You know, We wish we treated it more like a game. Right. So think of this game, this entrepreneurship of like a challenging puzzle. Have you ever had a challenging puzzle that you sat down, you and possibly uh, your, your significant other or kids or, or, or friends, and you're trying to get this puzzle together? Well, it's, it's hard and it takes time and it takes energy. It takes thinking. It's like, man, uh, well, guess what? The escape velocity of business, uh, it, it's, it's just there like a puzzle. But when you continually put that time, effort, energy in it, as the puzzle pieces come together, you not only can finish it off uh, quickly once you once you're committed and, and and show the you're committed to make it happen but just like your kids i'm sure you you've seen your kids put a puzzle together 50,000 times they can pretty much do it in their sleep that's why mike and john and and, and donna and, and myself are here we they we bend down that path and we we can we've done it so many times that we're we're here to show you how to do it to hopefully uh shortcut that journey for you but you got to have fun while you're doing it treat it like a puzzle treat it like a game and yeah, the game's going to be challenging. You know, uh, there's an old adage like, if you were great at tennis, how excited would you be to play someone that you can crush all the time? They never give you any challenge. Like the answer is, you wouldn't be too excited. Like, oh crap, I got to go play tennis with this person again. Like, boom, okay, you win, whatever, with with no effort whatsoever. Life is a worthy opponent, and and you, if you look at it as the game and you look at this entrepreneurship and you go through the steps of vision, belief, identifying a line, commitment to action and have fun. You're going to you're going to now take it from being a burden or cumbersome or frustrating to like, OK, this is a challenge. I'm, I'm a kick butt challenge. I'm a kick butt problem solver. So I'm going to figure this out. I don't know what it is yet, but, you know, and think back to those TV shows. I'm going to call a friend. I'm going to ask in the forum. I'm going to ask for help. Hey, I'm stuck here. And versus me taking days to figure this out, uh, who's been through this already? Who can help me through this? And you'll see that the community comes together. And you'll see this from your having fun state uh, standpoint. You can climb the mountain and enjoy the scrapes and cuts and bruises that you get on that journey to the top. Uh, so those are the five steps. Uh, I, I shortened it down. Um, uh, so let me know. Give, give me a seven if you like that. Give me a seven if you like the five steps. Vision, belief, identify and align, commitment to action and have fun. 777, seven, seven. awesome, very good. Dwight, Alexander, Susan, Jody, Long, Kurt, David, Pierre, Walter, Thomas. All right, Stephen, Wolfgang, JD, Gordon. All right, all right, good. Glad to hear you enjoyed that. Now, and and I'm, I didn't plan on it, but I'm glad you asked for those because those are also going back to the basics. I, I'm, I'm One of my nicknames is the simplifier. I try to keep things as simple as possible. And the basics that you see here work. Like my brother played in the NFL and there's an old saying, uh, one of the coaches way back, uh, you know, in early NFL days would tell his players at the beginning of each season, gentlemen, this is a football. You know, these are people that played football their whole life. And he would start off with gentlemen, this is a football. So these are the basics which are going to help give you that, that foundation of not going down the shiny object path, but getting yourself ready to launch out of the atmosphere quickly, efficiently, and effectively. So going to those nine words, tell your story, share your results, sell your system. And, and if you deconstruct any of your heroes, just like Tony and many others, you'll probably find those nine words in place. And then you can also see those five steps in place. The person had a vision. They believed that it was possible. They believed in the law of sowing and reaping. They believed in their company. They believed in their products. They believed in their self. They believe in that law of sowing, sowing and reaping, the law of cause and effect. They identified and aligned, found that proper mentor to guide them. They were 
committed to taking the actions, commitment to action, step number four, and you'll notice they had fun. Have fun. This life is too brief from my perspective to not have fun. So I'm glad y'all like that. Um, someone said here, add a six law and I'm, I'm drawing a, it's not showing me the whole thing there. Oh, here we go. I would add two more, six, Fraser's law. The more immediate, the more precise, the more complete the knowledge of results, the more efficient is the learning. Seven, make course correction. Yes, well, you, you, you came up with a great, uh, two great points there. Um, I have another th three words that I picked up in the Marine Corps that, that are on your seven, make course correction. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. Improvise, adapt, and overcome. We continually have to improvise, adapt, and overcome. Plans never go to plan. Um, and Fraser's Law, the more immediate, the more precise, the more complete, the knowledge of results, the more efficient is the learning. Perfect. Love it. All right. So there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's some basics that I, I was happy to share with you. And we're jumping into more basics. Um, so once you know your nine words, you tell your story, share your results and sell your system. And you can translate that over into this Carlton Kern method. And this is just another way of expressing your offer. Here's what I've got. Here's what it will do for you. Here's what to do next. So this is more in the selling of your system aspect. Something simple that when Phil Same and I would get to, okay, what's the offer? Well, here's what I've got. Here's what it will do for you. Here's what to do next. And and if you've watched any of uh, many internet marketing launches over the years, you'll probably see verbatim people getting to that point. Okay, great. So here's what you get. And here's what that will do for you. And then and then here's what you do next. You click you simply click that order button there, or you simply enter your email and name right below, and boom, there you have it. Right. So is guide this, them through the process. Is this yep. the Carlton Kern method for John Carlton and Frank Kern? It is, yes. I, I thought maybe there was just some you know miracle marketer baby whose name was Carlton Kern. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. That would be amazing, right? Yeah. Carlton Kern, right, right. So Donna <laughs> picked up uh, and and this this is a good reminder. Thank you, Donna, because We've been at this for so long. I, I confuse myself uh, unconscious unconscious competence. I forget people may be unconsciously incompetent or consciously incompetent and don't know. So the name there, Carlton Kern, is from John Carlton, who is one of the, you know some would say the best living copywriters uh, to date. You know in our in our presence, he's a great man, still writing tremendous copy, but uh, hard to get. You have to you have to really. Uh, pay high prices if you want him to work on it. And similarly, Frank Kern. So John Carlton came up with this uh, a long time ago, and then Kern liked it so much, he brought it back uh, to fashion. And Kern uses it a lot and still to this day does. So John Carlton, Frank Kern, uh, and I put it, you know, the Carlton Kern magic baby <laughs> method. So this is a way to to really help people at that part where you're you're selling your system, helps you clarify, okay, here's what I've got. Here's what it will do for you. Here's what to do next, speaking to your, your prospects and your clients. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is jump over to Groove Pages, and we're gonna actually jump into some live training. All right, so let me do this here, boom. Google Chrome, Groove Funnels, yes. That one, there we are. Okay, perfect. So we are in my Groove Pages right now, and if you, if you so just to show you, I clicked on the upper left there, and now I have all these things on, on the side. After I've logged in, I'm gonna click on Groove Pages. And Donna, I'm just gonna give them a, a brief how to do this you know, real quickly. Awesome. So how to do this. So, so once you're in here, we'll get to all these other fun stuffs. You know, at the bottom, you, know, you can choose new site and all this, but, but what we're gonna do is scroll at the very top. And in the upper right-hand corner, you see my, my uh, mouse moving maybe right there? Those three lines uh, in the upper right-hand corner, I click on that and we're gonna go to my integrations. And this is for, you know, just to get up and started very quickly. I've already integrated with Aweber and Active Campaign. For you, if you haven't integrated with anything, there's gonna be nothing there. And then you simply go over here to click add. I will pause and say that it might be a good idea to clear your cookies before you do this. Um, I had to clear my cookies before adding mine. You can try doing it without clearing your cookies, but if you run into any problems, you'd want to clear your cookies. And I'm going to share with you a brief way to do this that Donna shared uh, several trainings ago that I didn't know how to do, but it's a simpler way to clear your cookies. And so I'm in the page. I'm in. I'm at the page here that you see. My mouse is just somewhere on the page. I'm going to right click, 
And then I'm gonna go down to inspect. I click on inspect. Then I go up to the refresh button, but I'm gonna press and hold the refresh page, reload page button. And then it pops up, normal reload, hard reload, empty cache and hard reload. You're gonna click that third one, empty cache and hard reload. That's gonna, that's gonna clear your cookies and should be fine. I'm not gonna do it because that would have to have me log back in and stuff, but that's how you clear your cookies. And then I'm gonna get out of this, just close that page there, and now I'm back. So I got to this, I'll exit out of here, just to remind you. So when you first log in to Groove Pages, these other things aren't gonna be here, but you'll have new site, and then up in the upper right-hand corner, you have those, those three lines. Click on them, click on My Integrations, click on Add Integration, and then you, you select integration type. And there's the drop down of integrations that you can use at this moment. There's going to be more coming. But right now, you've got Active Campaign, AWeber, Campaign Monitor, a web form, Get Response, Go to Webinar, MailChimp, Modic. And so, uh, for instance, like I could actually add another AWeber account. And I could give it, like some people have numerous AWeber, numerous Active Campaigns, et cetera. I could add another AWeber account if I had one, um, but I've already owed uploaded the one that I want to use here and I've uploaded the one. So whichever one you want to do, uh, each of them have a different process. So click here to authorize your account. So if you click AWeber, boom, you click here to authorize your account, it's gonna have you log into your AWeber account and go through that process. I'll show you just so you see what happens. So it, I already did this on this account, but if I had another account, I'd give my, my login details, allow access, and then that would, that would uh, it would actually, I did this, it sent me an email saying, hey, you've integrated uh, Groove Pages with your AWeber account, and then and then it also loads it up in here. And then if you do with Active Campaign, they have a different one. They actually ask you to go to your API key and the URL, which you go log into your Active Campaign account, and um, you go, uh, we did a whole training on this. There's a, there's a training that shows you how to do it. It's not that complicated. You could ask people if you run into complications, if you use Active Campaign or any of the others that ask for those details. Um, but we did a training on this not too long ago. And same thing for Get Response. It asks for an API key, which you get by logging in and uh, uh, knowing where to go in your Get Response account. So that's what you do first to make sure that you're able to be integrated so that your, your web forms will work with the pages that you create. Now, let me see what I got here. Message came through. See what I got? Okay. All right. Is that so distracting you. I'm sorry. Oh no. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I won't. Uh, just hit me up here if you need something, so I won't have to look at it. Okay. So yeah, you don't have to. <laughs> okay. Perfect. So then, when you're here, if you're just starting out, you click on new site, and when you click on new site, you could choose blank template, but I'd recommend you go below blank template, or I'm sorry, blank template, and click the templates. And as you see there, here are some pre-loaded templates that you can choose from. And now we're gonna to get to the editing aspect. So if you were just brand new, you just saw how I logged in, how I, how I did the, uh, the, the My Integrations, how you cleared the cookies first, uh, and you integrate, now you create your new site. Don't, you can choose blank template, but you might wanna go down and choose your templates here from the, the, the ones that are preformed. You find the one that you like, and guess what? You can play around. You can pick one of each if you want. But I'm just gonna show you one real world here and this goes into the good enough is good enough phase. Like I, I built this. This isn't a site that I'm sending traffic to. This like I'm not sending huge advertising to. This is something that um, tell your story, share your results, and sell your system turned into people asking me how'd you do that. So I talked about for many years my three-day Apple fast. So Donna, I, and Mike started the the, the the marketers cruise back in January 2007, and I was doing Apple fasts all the way back in the Marine Corps days since 1993. And so I would talk about it enough where people asked me how I did it. So I bought the domain 3dayapplefast.com. So if you go, like, and, and you might want to go, go there now. Like, I'll, I'll type this in. And you're going to see this live. So I'll type this in here. Go to HTTP 3dayapplefast.com. So most of the people that come here are by word of mouth, know me, like me, trust me. And... That's why it doesn't have to be super slick, super fancy, whatever. They heard about it from the crews. They heard about it from me doing live presentations, whatever. If you go there, you're going to watch. This is what you see. If you're on mobile, you're going to see it uh, in the mobile form. If you're on uh, desktop, you're going to see it in that form. But I'm going to make some changes here to show you how quickly it is to change. And then when you refresh that, you'll be able to see the changes that we made. So good enough is good enough. I'm not caught up on how sexy this is or whatever. 
know, how sexy I am. Of course, I'm caught up in that. And, and obviously, Wanda, super sexy, right? But the site itself, I'm not too worried about. Um, but what I'm going to show you are a couple things. So this goes back to the empathy map. So right now, the three-day Apple fast normally was just help people lose weight and come up with a way to reset their immune system and whatever. But now if I wanted to enter the conversation in their mind, I actually went to, um, I created a brief video before we jumped on today. And basically the video was talking about how a lot of people are gaining weight on this quarantine because they're eating out of boredom, right? Uh, give me a give me a five if uh, you're eating out of boredom on this quarantine. Give me a five in the chat. <laughs> Let me see here what we got going on. Yeah, lots of people putting five, right? So a lot of people are gaining weight on this quarantine. So I created this video, which is brief, and it wasn't the greatest, one minute and 55 seconds. I'm going to show you how we can use that empathy map, and now I'm going to change the site. So if you go to 3dayapplefast.com right now, you'll see this site there. But what I'm going to do is change it on the fly, and when I click publish, you're going to see the video up there. So basically, I have this picture here, and what I'm going to do is go over to elements, and I'm going to scroll down until I find YouTube video, right? So here we go, media. So I, on this, over in the left side here, we got blocks, we got elements, pages, and pop-ups. In the elements section, I have a YouTube video box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna drag it over and I'm just gonna put it right here. And, and now I'm gonna delete this picture. I'm just gonna take that picture right out of here. I click on the picture, I click the, the trash box there, confirm, boom. Before I go any further, I'm gonna remind you, you have this button here. What's this, this button in the top, the circle here, a couple over from save? That button is the backup button. Let me just show you how that works. So I'm going to back up. Boom. That picture's back. Boom. That video's gone. And I go, oh, you know what? I want to go forward. I'm going to click the forward. I'm going to click the forward. See how simple this is? Don't forget the backup and the forward. It saves that. So it makes it easier for you. And now if I'm going to get rid of that picture, I'm also going to get rid of the before and after. I'm just going to dump that. Confirm. Boom. All right, now what I'm gonna do is click here and I'm gonna go to configure. So this is the video. Obviously it's got a video that's in there that, that j just for Mike and it's, a, it's a, a holding video. I'm gonna go in here and configure and that's the YouTube video ID. So I'm gonna go over to my YouTube video that I just created before we came on here and the end of this URL is the video ID. See the V equals? I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna pull it back over. I'm gonna paste it here paste it, control V, I'm gonna update, boom, there it is. Now I could change the aspect ratio, I could do all sorts of different things. I'm just gonna keep it what it was, and I'm gonna click out of there. And basically, I mean, I can play around with this and drag it and move it around and all this fun stuff. I'm just gonna see what happens when I do save, publish, and I'm gonna jump over here to see what happens on 3dayapplefast.com. Okay, and there you go, video, boom, right there. Now, is it pretty? I don't really care. Like, 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 and especially like nowadays, most people are watching on mobile. If you watch on your mobile, actually, let me just, I'll show you what it looks like in mobile. If I go to mobile, this is what it looks like in mobile. Now, what I'd wanna do is move this up to be below the headline and I would change this to enter the conversation in their head. Stop eating out of boredom. <laughs> Simply and easily. You can oh, buy yeah. this muzzle for nine ninety five. <laughs> right, right, exactly. Right. So, I mean, you know, you you get the picture. You can do all these things. Like, so you see this, and now I'm going to go here. I'm going to highlight this and do what Mike did earlier. I'm going to highlight all these on the small one, and I'm going to size it to where it's okay, easily during this quarantine. Right, so you can get creative. You know, this is not thought through copy. This is on the fly, but you get what I'm saying, <laughs> right? It's not the best, but you get what I'm saying. So I'm saving it. I'm, I'm pretty sure doing it. a live demo 
cut your brain cells in half. Correct. It, it actually that's truth. That is yeah. that's a fact. That's a proven <laughs> fact. Three day apple fast. So there we go. And so see now I change. See that's another great point to see because I only change it on the mobile, Donna. So isn't that awesome? Yeah. So so this stayed the same. So that's that's one of the benefits of how you can get super creative and share different messages on the different sizes of screens. But uh, it's on that screen. It's on that screen. And rest assured, we're making the functionality of those simpler and easier. We are working cool. on it to make it more intuitive. Very cool. So this was just a like I, I literally had the idea like, wait a minute, we're talking about entering, entering the conversation in your prospect's mind right before going on. I created this <laughs> without much thought. And uh, it's it's brief. It's enough. And I'm actually going to go and do a, a better one that actually is more to the point because I. I didn't really think it, normally I think things a little bit through before I turn on the camera, but I talked first about the, the marketers cruise and how I put on five pounds. And now I put on five pounds just because there's quarantine because I'm eating similar to the cruise where, uh, you know, I'm just bored and, and, and on the cruise we're not bored, but food's everywhere. Now with this, uh, uh, it's it, anyhow, so I'm going to skip it and I'm just going to go to look, stop eating out of boredom. Yes. Your, your, your weight's going up. You're not alone. Mine is too. Here's a simple process. That's not only going to show you how to do that, but also help you eat intentionally, intentionally and consciously moving forward so that you're not going to eat out of boredom, out of procrastination, out of, uh, social settings. You're going to eat to fuel your billion dollar body. Enter your email and name below and and gain access to this simple training. Oh, and by the way, you'll be redirected directly to the Facebook group, which shows you the six steps of how to do this simply, easily, and quickly, or something along those lines. Um, there you have it. So someone asked here, uh, so your domain is redirecting to your secure Groove sales page. Yes, that is what I did. Um, so the, so Sarah asked, so your domain is redirecting. All I did is, is go into my, um, my cPanel and did a, re, a HTML redirect. And I went to HTML redirect. And I pulled up some code. And I typed in this code. And basically replaced this with the URL that is the GrooveFunnels page. So if I go back to publish, this. So I copied that URL, copy link address. And, and so all I did is redirect it inside my cPanel in an in, uh, index file, change that URL, posted that in my in my cPanel because I already had it hosted on my site. And all I did is simply redirect it to the URL, which is in group pages. Make sense? So I could have done it here, publish on your domain below, right? Publish on your domain. I could have, but you can do it, I think, three, four, five different ways. I did it one of those <laughs> ways. There's numerous ways you can do it. Not that hard to do here. Uh, actually, super simple. And we did a training on that uh, a couple weeks ago as well. So James ladies and gentlemen, is suggesting that you re-edit your site to put the pretty girl back on, which is uh, <laughs> Tom's gorgeous wife, Wanda. <laughs> see, now we got some smart marketers here. That was the test, Wanda, That's to right. see. Hey, dude, I don't care what your marketing background is. This is not going to convert as well. <laughs> smart move. Smart move. So yep. I did realize that I've typed this answer about 12 times. So I might as well just say it um, and save my fingers uh, mm -hmm. for all the other people that have asked. There have been a number of questions about if I don't have an autoresponder service, if I don't have something to integrate, uh, what should I do? I suggest that you pick up a, you know, if you don't have one already and, and you want to start building your list, pick up something like Active Campaign. We really love Active Campaign. Uh, very, very flexible, very robust service. Um, mm -hmm. You can pick those up for, it It would literally be 60 days or less at this point until GrooveMail is available. But once GrooveMail is available, uh, a GrooveMail account is included in, if you upgraded to the lifetime option, then mm -hmm. GrooveMail is included in that upgrade and that will take care of all of your email broadcasting and autoresponder services. Uh, we will be adding more integrations. I can't tell you exactly what's being integrated or when, uh, but you can find out when you go to the uh, feedback dot, what was that? Uh, uh, I don't remember, feedback.groovefunnels.com. 
and take a look at the roadmap there. It will show you what is planned. And also search for the integration that you're looking for. If it's not there or if it's not mentioned, go ahead and create a feature request for that integration. That is the method to get it to our attention. Uh, so even if you've posted it in this chat, if it's not, um, you wanna go in and add it as a feature request. So that is the fastest way to get your, uh, your item integrated. Actually, the fastest way to get the service that you want integrated is not only add it in the feature requests, first search and see if it's there. If it's there, vote it up. Then get your friends to vote it up. If it's not there, add it, then vote it up and get your friends to vote it up. So mm -hmm. that's always the method with any features. It doesn't matter how many times you ask me for it. If you don't come in and put it on the feature request so that members can vote it, vote it up, it may not get done. Mm -hmm. That's all. Cool. cool, cool, cool. So I'm, I'm showing uh, how to do that now. So select. Awesome. Select that. Oops, select. Oh, there's select. your pretty girl again. Yep. And then update. There we go. So she's back. There you go. So there we pretty go. Simple. Once, once you've got your, your photos up loaded, it's that simple to get it going. Now, one thing I didn't show Donna that I'll show real quickly, and then we can go into questions and answers is how do I get the opt-in form here? So right in the beginning, you, you integrated your AWeber or active campaign or whichever uh, autoresponder service that you're using. And then when you pick, let me just, go, so I'll show you. So right here, at the bottom, so at the bottom, you see how it's container AWeber component. So at the bottom of the screen, very bottom, I'm, I have my mouse over AWeber component. I click on that. Oops, oops, I already was on it. So I already, there we go. So I click on AWeber component. I was already on it. And it's in the right hand side there. And then I, I picked which list it goes to and then the redirect. I, I chose to redirect people once they opt in, it goes right to the Facebook page. But how do I get this form here? So basically how I get the form here, once you've integrated your pay, or I'm sorry, your, your autoresponder with Groove Pages, all you do is go to Elements. And at the moment, you scroll all the way to the bottom and here are your integrations. And so all I did with this one is dragged over AWeber and I could, I could just show you here. So I'll drag in Active Campaign. So if I drag in Active Campaign, that's Active Campaign right now. Oops, view, actual size, okay. That's active campaign. And then <laughs> I don't really know how I do that. Actual size. And then if I go to the, the thing here, active campaign, now I got to configure it and pick which list that I want to I want to associate with it. Make sense? So what I'll do is delete that one, confirm, and stick with just the AWeber there. So all you do to get your your in, whatever you have integrated, you just go to elements, scroll to the bottom and drag over whichever element that you've integrated into, into the form. And then once you're on that form, you scroll to the bottom and you see where it says, Donna, can you see that AWeber component at the bottom? Uh, says I can, yes, yep. Component, okay, just wanna make yep, sure that's they can. showing, yeah. So AWeber component at the bottom, I click on that and then I click on configure and then pick the list and then pick, you can pick different options of what you want to happen when they opt in. For me, I just chose the redirect to go to the Facebook page. And then you click save and you click publish. And now when I go back to this and hit refresh, and by the way, good is better than, you know, a, a, an opt-in page up is better than opt-in page not up. So uh, in, in this one, most people are gonna be looking on um, their mobile because you'll notice a lot of mobile traffic. So here's what they'll be seeing and you can modify it accordingly. But on my large screen here, I got the iMac Pro big screen here. So it's showing, uh, whoops, it's showing the big ugly. It's very ugly, but it works. <laughs> right? Ugly done is better than not done uh, as, you'll, as you'll find. And, and, and funny enough, I just got off a, 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 a call earlier today with a billion dollar company and you would be, amazed at the results that they're producing with the ugliest sites like and that's just it's just it blows people's minds but anyhow i digress so donna that is and, and ladies and gentlemen that is how to get up and going quickly and how not to get caught up in the overcomplication. um we have numerous other trainings that uh that you can go back and watch this was just to show you real quickly how to 
stay focused on the basics, how to answer that question. Uh, okay, my money's in the list, my money's in the follow-up, where is my next uh, opt-in coming from and where's my next sale coming from? And, and if you're continually making progress on that, you will uh, get, get the opt-in pages up, you'll get better at the copy, you'll get better at the videos, you'll get better at the conversions, you'll get better at the follow-ups, but it, it, you need to begin where you start on going back. And, and, and I'll circle right back to where Mike started this. And as a reminder to us all, the reason for the big surge and, and the reason for them doubling down and, and growing, uh, you know, this with more developers and more staff was because they came up with a way to help people during this difficult time. Mike literally implemented exactly what we talked about today. He told a story, he shared his, uh, he told a story, he shared his results, he sold a system, and the system happened to be a free, you know, the story was the, the, the free version, a free access to a, a version that was going to be sold at roughly $100 a month for life. Right. So he built that into what, what was it? Almost 8000 people in a week that then conversions happened. Right. So how can you enter the conversation and follow Mike's example and Donna's example and John, the whole team's example to how can I enter the conversation in the marketplace, deliver some value? The money's in the list and the money's in the follow up. And, and literally what Mike trained on at the very beginning and what, what he shared was directly entering the conversation that's going on in people's mind, believing in his company, his product, his service, helping people. And uh, holy cow, it, it worked out tremendously well for each and every one of you and is a great example to ask yourself, how can I emulate that? Fair enough. Give me a five if you've had a good time on today's training. Give me a five. High five. Digital high five here. All right, good. I've enjoyed it as well. I'm glad to see you all did. We are open to some questions. So Donna, um, I will be here to help answer questions with you and uh, see how we can help gain some additional clarity for those who are joining us around the world. Fantastic. I have um, tried. I have been furiously typing for the last mm -hmm. two hours trying to answer all of the questions. Um, if I skipped one, if you haven't had your question answered, if you would uh, retype it now, that would be great. I will let everyone know some of the questions that we've talked about are autoresponders. Um, yes, Groove Mail is intended to be a full service autoresponder series. We're modeling ourselves after, um, but for not only for Groove Mail, but from a larger perspective, all of the Groove pillars is what I call them, which are all the things that make up Groove Funnel. So Groove Mail, Groove Video, Groove Pages. We're trying to be the best in class for all of those things. So we do our research, we find out what the best of the best of our competitors are doing, and we are modeling those feature sets. So chances are the question is, will Groove blank, you know, insert property, will Groove blank have this feature? And the answer is going to be yes. If it exists in the best of class, uh, services. So in the case of email, we're modeling active campaign, get response, Infusionsoft, MailChimp, all of the best in class versions that, that you know of are the ones that we're modeling. And we want to make sure that you have all of the features and the functionality of any of the services that you use to make switching to your from your current situation into the Groove property uh, easy and seamless. So from a development perspective, we want all of that complexity without any of the complication of using those. So that is really what we strive for, complexity without the complication. So a lot of the questions are, will it have this, will it have that? I may have just answered with a quick yes, um, but you can answer that question yourself if you think, you know, will Groove Mail have Ask yourself, will Active Campaign have or will Infusionsoft have? Uh, because our goal is to try to make that answer, the answer to that question, yes, as often as possible. So that's one big, broad way of answering a lot of your questions. Um, the There is no place where all of the feature sets, all of the functionality has been written and down in one place. Um, I've said before, if I started to do that, it would probably take me two solid weeks just listing out the features. So nobody has time for that. It's just, it's not happening. Um, 
maybe eventually when we are done actually creating the software, we'll go back and write a complete list of, of what features we've just created. But at the moment, we're busy working on making the software and now uh, improving the communications and the training for that software. Um, and that's really where our focus is. So we're still a relatively small team. I think we have about 50 people on our team at this point. So we're still a relatively small team considering the amount of work that we are pumping out uh, to get our software ready for launch in July. Yep, very cool. Yeah, so Donna has been uh, answering questions as it has been occurring uh you know she's a faster typist than i am so that's a, and, and she's also more knowledgeable on this stuff i'm i'm still learning it as well and as you saw it's better to have something done you know you don't have to get it right you just have to get it going you know and obviously uh you know just getting off that call with the billion dollar client uh, a couple hours before we all met um it's the real world stuff that you continue have to get out there improvise adapt and overcome and test it's a continual test and uh, it, it's different for each industry, but you have to tell your story, share your results, sell your system, get it out there, get the feedback from the marketplace, and then ask yourself, how and what can I do to make it better? What can I do to change the headline, change the messaging, all that stuff? Continually, iter continually iterate to improve those conversions and deliver that value that you can. So Donna, it's been a pleasure yeah. as always. It's been a pleasure oh, with wait, all. Hang on, don't wrap okay. up. We have a couple of Perfect. questions I want to cover. Okay. Sorry. Perfect. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> um, Troy asks if the lifetime opportunity is going to be available after April 15th. The number of people have asked you that, they uh, asked about how long it would be available. Um, it is our intention to keep that available until launch in July. However, we are not guaranteeing that we keep it available at any time we could decide. Uh, and this is not me attempting to create some scarcity or urgency at all. It's just that at any time we reserve the right to pull the offer. So it is available. Um, we don't have any intention of doing it. Uh, before we pulled it, we would very likely put a timer on it and let people know this is only gonna be available for a short period of time, um, but it probably will stay open and available because it's it really is. Our, our promotion is based on being able to provide GrooveSell for free during this time when we're all kind of on lockdown and where people are struggling because they have, you know, 30% of the workforce is out of work right now. So it really is our intention to give back and we'll keep it open for as long as we can. Um, but, you know, things change, the business could change, so we can't guarantee that. So I, I don't mean to be, you know, creating some scarcity or creating some urgency, just to be absolutely honest that we are reserving our right to uh, remove the offer at any time, but we have no intention to do that right now. If you are interested in promoting, when you are logged into your GrooveFunnels app, uh, into GrooveFunnels account, in the upper right-hand corner, there's a drop-down hamburger menu there. If you click on it, you can see you know, your account, your integrations, but you can also see the Groove Partner Program. You are all already affiliates to the Groove Partner Program. Just go, go ahead and click on that and grab the very first link. The top link sends them to the uh, our page at GrooveSell.com where they can learn about getting a free account. And it also preserves you as a, um, preserve your cookie. It, it, it lets them know that that came from you. If you are a free account member of Groove Pages, your commission is locked in at 20%. So those of you who have joined uh, Groove Cell, got your Groove Pages upgrade for Groove Pages Lite, and you'd like to promote, you have a 20% commission. If you'd like to double your commission, simply join the lifetime opportunity yourself. Uh, once you decide that you want to join us, become a lifetime member, your commission gets doubled to 40%. So just wanted to make sure you all knew uh, how to do that right now, especially because we all need to find ways to earn a little bit more money uh, during these times. Um, more questions about list imports. Is it easy to import your list? You'll just be able to upload a CSV, uh, a uh, comma separated value file, you'll be able to export it from wherever your list is now and import it into GrooveMail. Uh, where to go for feature requests? That is feedback.groovefunnels.com or if you are in your GroovePages builder, you'll see 
along the bottom, there are uh, some links for feature requests, for bug reports, all of that while you're in your group pages builder. Um, let's see. Uh, can we expect more templates in group pages? Absolutely. We are constantly pumping out templates. At some point, I hope that all we do is create templates that will have, will have put every possible feature in the app. It will be completely beautiful and intuitive. And then we will take all of our resources and use them to create more and more templates for you. So yes, templates will be coming. Um, Plus the site uh, import. Remember, that's coming oh too. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, we have a site import feature, which will allow you to uh, basically take any website out there on the internet and it, it creates a template. You can import the site, um, not the copy, not the images, because we want to um, respect other people's copyright. And uh, yeah, we um, want to make sure that we make it as easy as possible for you to switch. Obviously, other page builder services are not going to let you, you know, easily integrate so that it can happen at a click of a button. Don't we all wish that would happen? But uh, what we are creating is a import feature that will allow you to take any URL anywhere on the internet and load it up into group pages. And what it will do is it will look at basically the, the CSS and the design of the page and, and replicate it for you. Um, so that is super awesome. It is definitely the, um, the highest tech version of funnel hacking that there is. So super excited about that. Yeah, and, and when you see in here, in, in the previous trainings, Mike goes into showing what's coming and, and Don has touched on it and Mike touched on it a little bit. It is a full suite from A to Z that will have you being the elite marketing and pretty much all that you need. It, it, it's it's brilliant. And no one could have put it together than the team that's in place. And uh, you know, from from Mike, John, Donna, and the whole team, they it's got the it's got the brains and the what's to come is super exciting. Let me just say that. So you're in the right place. And uh, you know, hopefully this showed you today how to quickly get up and running, how to stick to the basics, how to enter the conversation in your prospect's mind. Mike's example in the very beginning of what they did with giving away GrooveSell is something for you to possibly research and develop and rip off or duplicate. <laughs> how can you <laughs> enter the conversation like that in the marketplace and give something of massive value that then also has the follow-up that leads to many sales? So, uh, man, just an awesome, awesome call. Donna, pleasure as always. And uh, each and every one of you who joined from around the world, we're thankful for you. Keep your head up. Keep moving forward one day at a time. All of this uh, interesting stuff will pass and might as well have a, a nice solid foundation in place uh, and with generating leads and sales while all this uh, interesting stuff is happening throughout the world. Thank you so much, Tom. I have um, tried to answer everyone's questions. I know that there are some that aren't available. I mean, that I didn't get to. Um, I will point everyone to, I'm about to put a link into the chat. And this link is a full FAQ. So it's in the main chat where everyone can see it. It's a full FAQ that Mike wrote that will answer so many of the questions that are here that we haven't gotten to. So it really is worth taking a few minutes to read that FAQ, which is a, a Google doc, but I should probably put it on a group page at some point, huh? <laughs> awesome, very good. So we'll give you a couple minutes to go find that doc down in, in the chat, that URL. Go there, get the FAQ, and uh, we will be back here, same time, same channel, uh, Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern, uh, and then, Donna, there is the um, training on Thursdays, which is for the e-commerce uh, at 6 p.m., correct? That is correct. That is Groove Cart training. Uh, you can find a link to it in the Facebook group. Uh, Groove Cart is Thursdays at 6 p.m. So I'll right. see you Groove Cart users there. All right. Talk with you all soon. Make today great. Bye for now. So long, everyone. Bye, Donna.